stupid video for your pointless newspaper. Everything's a joke. I'm a joke, you're a joke. The whole universe is a joke. We at the Onion Week in Review are compelled to inform viewers that while this entire segment is indeed one small part of the giant perverse joke, the upshot is that the next minute of your life will be no more or less pointless than if you were to spend it with a loved one, mentoring an at-risk youth, or simply wallowing in your own feculence. In other news, Harley Davidson and Jack Daniels collaborate on a local felony. A churchgoer blanks on why she's lighting a votive candle. And please ring the bell and the boy will come round momentarily for your bags. For more news, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you would like. Just dial in toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Joining you in the studio tonight, you've got Ian. Comma, Johnny Ray, comma. <laughs> and Mark. And also, uh, we've got Skype. You can Skype us at username lrn.fm. Dial us up toll-free at 855-450-FREE. Plenty of stuff to talk about here tonight. I did tease the other night that we have 20 things that successful people refuse to do. We could maybe try to sprinkle some of these throughout the show or plunge through them and uh, and just go all through all 20. Uh, either way is fine. Of course, you can dial in and bring up anything. It doesn't have to be on this topic. Number one on the list from uh, originally posted on brandmentalist.com, things that successful people refuse to do, according also to Huffington Post, they don't define success in a monetary term. Most people define success as happiness, having a peace of mind, or helping others. They see money as something that brings them comfort and opens doors of opportunities, but they realize that money cannot buy them happiness. Money yeah. is only one kind of reward. There are lots of different kinds of rewards. No doubt. Yeah, I think that you... I feel like you have to have a certain amount of money. You have to be able to sort of have the expectation of being able to meet your bills to be happy for most people like it's difficult to be in a situation where you know you, you, it's hard to be happy when you're hungry well I, there aren't there aren't that many hungry people in america there are i'm not saying that there's not but there's not that well, many it helps to have money to you know have food on your table yeah it has it has more to do with sort of the uh, psychological effects of sort of not being able to meet uh, you, you know the the pressure that comes with bill collectors and mm -hmm. all those things. It's a lot of that. It's difficult to be happy when there's a bunch of people calling you demanding money. Number two on the list: they don't start their days without plans. Successful people know that in order to stay on top of work and become successful, they need to be disciplined and smart with how they manage their time. In order to do this, they plan their days ahead, putting together a to-do list at the start of the day, what needs to be done, and in what order. Not only are they going to make sure that they don't miss out on an important task or meeting, but also they will optimize their time for optimal performance. And only thing I ever plan to do is plan to fail. Know what I'm saying? Again? <laughs> uh, yeah, I have a feeling there are a lot of people who know what you're saying. Uh, I I nail number one. I I define success in a lot of different ways. Yeah. Explicitly, not non monetarily, but I certainly do not plan. I'm I'm a really? terrible planner. No. Well, but really? you know when you've got to go to work, right? Like, you've got a schedule for that, at the very least. Sure, yeah. I mean, you would know if you have to be in on Friday versus Saturday and what days you have off. I mean, that's to some extent a plan. Okay, thank you for that, Ian. Yeah, I mean, those, so there you go. But the more you can write down, I think the better. And that's oh, yeah. one of the things that this this touches on, and, uh, and I think it's very important. Uh, I don't know where the numbers and the statistics come from, but you know, I've heard that you know, 97% of people don't actually write down any goals for their life. Uh, anything they want to accomplish. I don't know. I, again, I pulled that number out of thin air. It's just what I've heard. But if you actually write down what you want to do, then it helps keep it more present. You know, it helps it keep uh, sort of keep things in front of you. If you, especially if you get in the habit of reviewing whatever that list happens to be on a regular basis, because if you write it down, you never look at it, then it doesn't do you any good. There are a lot of sort of programs online and apps and sort of things that'll help you with that if that's what uh, what one wishes to do. I found that I like using a scheduler and uh, my email box for these things. Mm -hmm. If I need to get something done, I may email it to myself or put it on a schedule. Yeah, I can always bump it back if that's what uh, the, the, the case may be. But, you know, getting I, I find getting short term. I don't pay any attention to long term goals. I got those things down. Right. It's the okay. short term goals I have to get done in order to, to get what the things I want in life. And 
I just use you know those things. I mean, if your your scheduling program comes right with your smartphone, and well, most people have one of those. You have long term goals, Mark, because you've written down goals. I mean, for yourself, you've you've created these things in the past. Many people may not have that beyond just some sort of. I'd like idea to have more of, money. I'd like to retire. You know that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, coming up with something that you want to see happen, like if you don't have kids yet, you want to have kids, or if you've got one, you want a second one. You, know, you think, don't need a lot of plans for uh, how to have kids. It's the money to uh, take care of them that's the problem. Well, right. But the idea behind setting long-term goals is that you can then set more shorter-term goals so you can hopefully reach those long-term goals. But if you don't have them really specified, like, I want to have a house, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, it seems very basic, right? But sure. maybe you, if you haven't done this, you should spend a little bit of time coming up with some ideas of what you'd like to see 10 years from now. Where would you like to be? Would you like to have your own business, you know, for instance? So you figure out what that goal is. And if you can be more specific, like, you know, you want to be in a you know marble manufacturing business or selling candy or, you know, whatever it is. You know, you can then come up with more specific goals to reach that that point. Yeah, there's the things you need to do to get from here to there. Exactly. Whether it's building a cabinet or building a business. So the idea is you set the long-term one out, and then you sort of work backwards and figure out at least one possibility of how to get there. It's probably more than one option uh, that will appear at some point. So if you want to share your thoughts on this list, the list of 20 things successful people refuse to do, you can dial in toll-free at 855 855- 450 free. But I think this is such a, a good idea. Now, whether you use some of the online tools like Mark was suggesting or a Workflow is one that I like. Um, yeah. I'll put a link to that on our Facebook. That's an online tool, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. That's what I was saying. Uh, that's one that I like. That's online. But, you know, just having a sheet of paper or a, a you know legal pad or something like that is a good place to start. Sure is. And cheap. Good way to sort of pour some ideas out. Uh, so feel free to uh, chime in here. Number three, you can go to your printer and pull out a piece of paper. You don't even need lines. Yep, that's true. Number three, they don't define perfection as their end goal. To successful people, striving for perfection is rather a waste of energy and time because you'd be spending your time looking for mistakes and faults to fix. Instead, you should strive for growth. From one point to another, successful people achieve each goal with growth in mind. And I'd, I'd rephrase that to say that you know, perfection is the enemy of completion, because if perfection is the end goal, you'll never reach it. You can't possibly reach perfection in this lifetime. It's at least exhausting, in, too. Yeah. Yeah, the cleaning business has taught me uh, that. I bet it has. Going after perfection has, has caused me, in some instances, the, the scope of my work to be just sharply, r- drastically reduced because I don't ever make any progress because I'm doing the same thing over and over again, trying to make it perfect. And you, well, when you're, you're cleaning, there's always some new bit of dust, you know, there's always something that, uh, some scuff mark or whatever, and if you obsess over that stuff, uh, then you'll miss finishing the job, right? Or you, you won't come in on budget, that kind of thing. I learned, I've seen coworkers come in, and when we do, I try, I should... I'll try to, not to get bogged down too much in the details, but doing uh, stripping and waxing a vinyl, a vinyl tile floor. I've worked with guys who go in and they flooded the floor, which is that's how to, that's how, I learned that's how you do it. Flood it with what? Uh, with with a solution that will strip Stripping. Okay. that will strip the wax. And I and they seem to be carelessly flooding the floor, mm. but they, they 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 got the floor stripped very quickly and waxed quickly and coat after coat down quickly. And my niggling and naggling um, in tiny little spots made me do the same job slower, and I didn't do it Hmm. even as well as these guys did, just because they had these tried-and-true processes down. Yeah, there'll be seams. If you do it in parts, there'll be the seams, sort of different different areas, and you're like, oh, that's a separate area that they did. Hmm, Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, perfection, uh, you really can't achieve it. So at some point you have to decide that this is done so you can then move on to whatever it is the next thing is. Because there's always going to be there's always going to be a next thing. Uh, so, you know, you, hopefully you should get to it. <laughs> to, uh, so toll free number is 855-450-FREE. Number four, they don't surround themselves with negative people. Boy, this is a big one. Pessimistic people, people who whine and complain, people who procrastinate. And people who find excuses for everything. These are the kinds of people that successful people don't surround themselves with. 
because the more you hang around these people, the more negative energy you receive. Instead, successful people hang around positive people, driven people, and people who inspire them. Yeah, this is absolutely the, um, the, the hard, a hard lesson for me to learn in my life and uh, it, the most important. You're, if you hang out with a bunch of bad people for whatever reason, mm -hmm. you're going to have bad results. You know, and I'm. It's not that you have. To, you don't have to have the friend, but when you remove the bad friend, at some point, the good friend fills the slot. And usually, it doesn't take too long. We'll come back with more on that. Your calls and thoughts, your experiences, also welcome here at eight fifty five four fifty free. Talking about what to do to be successful. It's free talk live. Mom gives us our own special Christmas ornament every year. This year, she gave me one with a picture of me playing soccer. It's my most favorite ornament ever. Each Christmas, moms everywhere create the wonderful tradition of placing special ornaments on the Christmas tree. This year, you can make your tradition even more special with unique, customizable ornaments from personalcreations.com. They have an amazing selection of adorable ornaments to choose from. You can even design the characters to look just like members of your family, including your pets. And you can customize each ornament with any name you'd like to make them truly one of a kind. Radio listeners, you can get a special deal. For a limited time when you order select ornaments on the site, you'll get a second one absolutely free. That's two amazing ornaments for the price of one, and personalization is included. But hurry, because this exclusive offer ends this Friday at midnight. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to personalcreations.com. Click on the orange star in the top right corner and enter the secret code 6767. That's personalcreations.com, secret code 6767. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309.
This is Free Talk Live. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We are talking about things that people who are successful refuse to do, or they generally don't do here, according to the Huffington Post, as originally reported on brandmentalist.com. And we'll continue on that list of 20 things here. And, you know, maybe you've heard us cover some of these topics before. It's it's fairly rare that we come to the the self-improvement topics on Free Talk Live, but it does happen. I like them. Uh, I really, en- yeah, I really do enjoy them, and we probably don't talk about them as often as, as we should, really. Uh, but over the years, if you've listened to the show, you've probably heard this conversation before. We, you know, These lists of things to do to be successful are nothing new. I mean, these, these things have been around forever. I think the value of them isn't necessarily what's included in them. Like, I don't think that this is the list that contains that one golden nugget that you need to know. I don't really think that. I think that, you know, mostly these lists say similar things. It's that you need to keep them top of mind, yeah. really top of mind. Well, right. That's They're inspirational saying. and they, they keep you, you know, concentrating on that. Exactly. Even if you was what I was going to say is if you've heard this before, it doesn't hurt to hear it again. Because, you know, maybe you're listening to us, oh, yeah, I got this down, I hang out with positive people, I make plans, I make goals and things like that. But it never hurts to have a refresher on stuff like this. It's like when I'm out doing cop block outreach, we've got Know Your Rights flyers, and we'll ask people, hey, do you know your rights when dealing with the police? And even some people who say yes, we can still get them to take the flyer because it never hurts to brush up on what your rights are, Indeed. for instance. Uh, so we'll continue with this list here in moments, but first... Yeah, if you've got some Bitcoin and you need a car, I can tell you where to go. You go to NewAgeAutosales.com. There, they've got their own cars that that come from their rental fleet. And I'm looking at the list of cars right now. They've got them in the ranges from, you know, on down to less than 10,000, on up to nearly 20. And that just gives you an idea of the the sorts of uh, cars that they've got. I mean, they've got late model used cars that have been really well maintained. They're from their rental fleet. And that means that there aren't any of the fees from the auctions or the transportation costs. You know, when they put all the trucks on those, uh, all the cars in the truck and they drive them place that costs money. And you're not, you know, that just doesn't get written off in your, (laughs) your car when you buy it. Um, New age auto sales, you don't pay that because they're their cars from their lot. Go to NewAgeAutoSales.com and see what they've got. You know, if you're in the Bitcoin sphere, you've been hearing people say, well, I want to be able to buy a car in Bitcoin. Well, you can buy a car in Bitcoin. They can deliver it anywhere in the world. NewAgeAutoSales.com. If you're in the market for a car, please give them a call. Just go to NewAgeAutoSales.com. The telephone number's right there. If you've got Bitcoin, I know you've got internet. So (laughs) NewAgeAutoSales.com. Give them a call. All right. So our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. So far on the list, people who are successful don't define success in monetary terms. They don't start their days without having plans. They don't define perfection as their end goal. And they don't surround themselves with negative people. All good good tips so far. I you know, endorse this list so far fully 100%. Number five, they don't perceive difficulties as problems. When, that sounds weird at first blush. So when successful people face a difficulty or an obstacle, they see it as another challenging issue that they need to solve, just like any other obstacle they've gone through in the past. They believe these experiences will only make them smarter and stronger. Well, I suppose that's so. Generally, that is uh, that is true. And also, it's you know, it's hard to to take on challenges and say, "Oh, good, another challenge." Mm. Um, it can be exhausting, but that's why you know you have leisure time to take away from the work and then hit it up again. Because sometimes, if you pour too much time into something, you're you're going to wear out. You got to take a break in order to come at whatever the challenge is from a fresh perspective, or you know, bring in somebody else to uh, to add in new ideas to it. But ultimately, most any challenge that life brings to you, also, it'll provide the same the, the tools that you need to overcome that challenge. It may not be immediately apparent, uh, but usually what you whatever it is you need will be provided to you if you're open to accepting those opportunities. Like the solutions there? Yeah. Okay. I believe that. That's been my experience. Uh, it seems like the only sorts of obstacles and difficulties that should really disappoint someone or make you despondent are the ones that are from your mistakes and the Mm. things, especially if it's a mistake that you're committing for the second or third time. 
Yeah, that could yeah, it can burn on you. Yeah, <laughs> pile those things up, and uh, life gets difficult when you because uh, that's what that's oftentimes what ends us up in bad conditions. At least here in the United States, uh, you know, I mean, here a series of good decisions will get you in a pretty good place in life. A series of bad decisions puts you in a really bad one. And all it takes is to break the chain of decisions. Yes, you have it. You have to do that for weeks in order to break the, to, to change your mind. But I, I really do believe that whole twenty-one days start a new habit thing. I think that you know you're twenty-one days from having a much better life. So let's go to uh, your phone calls and thoughts. You can bring up anything that you want. We'll continue on this list of things successful people don't do. But we've got D in Charlottesville. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, D. Hi, hey how are you? Thank you for taking my Go call. Go for it, Dee. Okay, I'm just concerned because American people are unaware that Russians were sent over here. They're the equivalent of the Army Rangers. Russians? Uh, up. Yes, they were sent over here. Um, when? Specifically to Baltimore, Maryland, July a year ago through mm-hmm. last October the 1st. They were under very heavy training. Um, in all American equipment, all American equipment, and also some of them were wearing American, American uniforms, ladies and gentlemen. Well, now, these are pretty big claims, D. I I mean, what do you got to back this up? Yeah, how do we know if uh, those, how do those people in those American uniforms are Americans or Russians? I mean, this would be a, a difficult well, thing I to can, show with more than pictures, right? I can give you one little tip. Um, as far as the sources, it's available all over the Internet. All you have to do is Google it. It's still there. Mm. What, what would um, one actually some Google? The, some of the patriot groups that they have infiltrated as Americans. So just slow down what for a second, D. What, just slow down. I want to get your allegations out here, but I, I am curious. I'm going to ask some questions here. So you said Google it. Uh, I did try Googling it, but maybe I'm looking for the wrong thing. I, I looked uh, Russians, Baltimore, 2013. Should I add military to that? Uh, you know, because nothing's. I mean, I've got like you know some plays, some uh, the Holy Trinity Orthodox Church. Not really, not really coming up with what you're saying. I should be finding. So what 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 would one look for if one was searching for this? Um, I have my computer. Tell you what, you can tell us about that later here in a moment. So what you said there was some kind of uh, infiltration going on. Yes, in the Patriot groups, and some of them have been outed when there was alcohol present because when they got drunk, they they dropped their English accent, and the Russian became— How they get uh, the good—it's really yeah, difficult yeah. to fake a, a, a good accent. Um, <laughs> well, okay. all I have to say to you is that I know people uh, from other countries who speak beautiful English. That's true. These people are top-notch military trained. D, here's what I want you to do. I want you to pull up this information online. Hang on. We're going to bring you back. Pull up the info. Get the Google search so we can all kind of follow along with you here. And I want to know where you're getting this information. I want to know what your source is because, you know, anybody can call up a radio show and make any claims. And Free Talk Live will certainly allow you to do that. But I'm going to give you a chance to back them up here in a moment. So more with D, 855-450-FREE. It's the Russian invasion. Red Dawn 2. Wolverines! Did you know by age 50, half of all men have an enlarged prostate? This means more urges to urinate, longer bathroom trips, waking at night to urinate, or issues with sex. If this sounds familiar, call us now, because we're shipping free bottles of Super Beta Prostate to listeners of this station. Super Beta Prostate is a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's yours free. Pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-881-1075. In clinical trials, the ingredient in Super Beta Prostate was shown to reduce urges to urinate, improve bladder emptying, reduce waking at night to urinate, and improve quality of life. This Super Beta Prostate free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. Don't wait. Just call 1-800-881-1075. That's 1-800-881-1075. Call 1-800-881-1075. Hey guys, it's Mark Clare here, lionsofliberty.com, where we strive to advance the ideas of liberty daily. We bring you the morning roar. 
That's right. Every Monday to Friday, we'll have a brand new edition of The Morning Roar, where we provide a roundup of some news stories that you may not find in the mainstream media or even in your typical social media news feed. We find stories that relate to the ideas of liberty and provide you with our liberty perspective on them. Every Monday, we have our longest-running feature, Mondays with Murray, named after the great libertarian Murray Rothbard, where we'll examine an article or an excerpt from his works and help convey his view, along with our little spin as well. We wrap it all up every Friday with Felony Friday, where our own John Odermatt goes out and takes a look at some sort of felony. There's felonies committed every day, you know, whether it's a felony committed by the police, a politician, or even an average citizen. You can find all of this and so much more over at lionsofliberty.com. Advancing the ideas of liberty daily. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at Forum.LRN.FM. That's Forum.LRN.FM. It's Free Talk Live. You dial toll-free. Bring up anything you want. 855-450-FREE. We'll also come back to the 20 things successful people refuse to do here in a moment. Our toll-free number, again, 855-450-FREE. Join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. With you tonight, Ian here. Johnny Ray. And Mark. We're going to go back to your calls here in a moment. We've got Dee. She's still with us. She's telling us Russian troops have been apparently invading the United States, and we're gonna, we've are we asked her to back up her claims. And here we uh, sit completely ignorant of it. Yeah, so we'll see what she has to say here in a moment. But first. Yeah, well, the uh, the tyranny of uh, the English over the Scottish was uh, by no means uh, le- th- this uh, 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 obscure. It was much more apparent in the times of William Wallace, and this is one of the greatest uh, liberty stories ever told. And there is a CD set that I recently came in contact with called In Freedom's Cause, and it's awesome. It has its own music score that was created for this, uh, this CD set. It has top name actors and actresses. It's uh, Joanne Froggett from Downton Abbey, Skandar Keynes of uh, Chronicles of Narnia, James Cosmo of Braveheart, Billy Boyd of Lord of the Rings. You can't get more top of the line than that. And what they do here is is this is audio theater. It's an audio movie played on the uh, screen of your mind, and it is top rate. And they are advertising with Free Talk Live because they know that this is one of the greatest stories of the struggle for human freedom ever told. And they know that it'll be awesome for our audience. History has been gutted and sanitized and in freedom's cause brings history alive for the kids and adults in a wholesome way. You can give the gift of freedom to your loved ones this year in freedomscause.com. 
We have a special offer for Free Talk Live listeners. Use coupon code FTL, that's FTL as in Free Talk Live, to get the family four-pack of CDs. So you get four sets, that means four gifts, and it's 50% off. So you can take off, it's half price, in freedomscause.com, coupon code FTL. I would encourage you, this is a great gift to give your loved ones. Um, I'll be uh, doing the same this year, in freedomscause.com. All right, let's go to the back to the phones here. D is still with us in Charlottesville. D, you called in with some pretty, what seemed to be outrageous claims. Uh, you're saying that Russian troops have been in Baltimore since 2013. Uh, how many Russian troops? I don't know if I got that idea from you. Um, it's 15,000, and it's not 15, just Russian troops. Wow. They are okay. NATO, UN troops uh, that mm -hmm. are stationed and hidden mostly in the UN biospheres, the national forests. And also, a UN biosphere? Soldiers. Is that what you said? The UN biosphere. What is that? Is that like forest? Biodome with Pauly Shore? I mean, what is uh, a biosphere? Oh, well, we're, we're kind of getting off, the, off of my topic, but to answer your question, um, again, with just a tiny little bit of research, you can find that the United States, um, what we thought was the United States of America, a lot of land has been given to the UN. Now, as far as what to look for to the original um, topic, FEMA Region 3 alert. All right, stand by for one moment, because, Dee, you told us that you had, uh, you had some sort of info about how people could find this information. What is your source? Well, they, if they want to Google, they'll probably find more information under FEMA Region 3 Alert. Okay, so here's what I found when I was looking for this uh, during the break. I found a website called urbanlegends.about.com, and it's it's actually it's got the same number uh, that you said, fifteen thousand uh, troops. That's correct. Yeah, it says oh. here that uh, that is it true that FEMA signed an agreement to deploy Russian troops to provide security at mass events in the U.S.? No, that is a fictional claim which distorts the terms of an actual agreement signed by representatives of FEMA and the Russian Emergency Ministry in 2013. The actual agreement states the two countries will share the expertise of first responders and emergency managers of both nations as part of an ongoing collaborative emergency preparedness program originally launched in 1996 and renewed in 2007. They agreed to collaborate on improving protections against meteorite impacts and other space threats. There was no mention in the official announcements of these agreements of deploying Russian troops on U.S. soil, much less 15,000 of them. So, so basically what you're telling us is, is that we should just look around for claims on the Internet, but you don't actually have any actual sources that you can cite specifically. You're just saying Google it. Well, Because um, when I Googled it, it's, the claim little... is it's false. We're getting into some touchy area. Mm -hmm. um, we I like to get touchy here on Free Talk Live, so feel free. Family, and uh, I don't want to say too much to protect their identity, but this is someone who is active in the military. So you're saying you have a source who is uh, who you're protecting. You're, you're saying you didn't just yeah, read about this on I the know, internet. I know who it is. I know who it is. It's General Johnson Jameson. Uh -huh. What? General General anyway, Johnson Jameson. <laughs> John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. A specific person was assigned uh, to a, a task, and it was abruptly ended exactly on October 1st. Um, that set up the red flags for me. Uh, the soldiers, our soldiers, are being trained. I don't have any soldiers. You have soldiers? Because I don't. I think she means U.S. Our soldiers. Our country soldiers the US are being government. Crossed Mm -hmm. with all different various types of NATO troops from different countries. What That's do you want to do about it? I mean, basically, is it your job? What are you to afraid they're going to do just, first? What do you think they're going to do? I want the American people to realize that if someone in an American uniform shows up at their door during a supposed <laughs> or, or claimed martial law crisis or scenario, it may not necessarily be an American soldier. What does soldier. it matter? I mean, it, you really shouldn't answer the door anyway. I mean, it's whether, it's an, whether it's well, American or a Russian, they're, they're probably not knows, there to help you. Who knows what will happen? Hopefully nothing. But it, it just seems like um, 
you know, we're we're not going to have it quite that easy. What if um, Russians that had really perfect U.S. accents infiltrated the, uh, the the police forces around the United States and started, I don't know, pulling people over in their cars and, like, handing out tickets? And they had these drop boxes, and all the money would go back to Russia rather than to the local municipalities. Well, I've kind of lost the string when that ballooned for you. I don't really, I'm not calling about the police. Well, I'm D, haven't you ever out. haven't you ever heard about the Russian agents who they are sort of like sleeper agents? They've been basically brainwashed uh, with certain sets of instructions, and when they receive a phone call and a Robert Frost poem is read, uh, they oh MK Ultra, that's what you're referring to. No, it's called oh, Telephone. Can... There's a movie about it. Charles Bronson. Uh, you anyway, the uh, the sleeper agent receives a, t- a telephone call. And the person on the other end of the line reads a line from the Robert Frost poem, you know, the woods are lovely, dark and deep. I don't want to say the rest of it because I might trigger one of the agents that's listening to uh, to the show here tonight. But uh, once that poem is read, the Russian agent then, uh, they go into this pre-programmed state of just absolute killing. They have this plan. It's usually a bomb or something like that. Have you heard about that? No, I haven't. You really should look into it. Look up Telephon and Charles Bronson. Thank you for the call tonight, D. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Well, do you believe her? Uh, no. No. Um, I 15,000 troops, Mark. Well, I, 15, what I think is— They're in the biosphere. The value of this is, uh, as she stated <laughs> it, the value of it is as she stated it, which is that you shouldn't just because somebody's got an American flag on their shoulder— you shouldn't just do what they say, and you shouldn't just accept their authority because of that. So I think that— I, 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 But what I, if they can prove they're an American, Mark? What if they so can prove— So what? <laughs> I said just because they have an American flag on their shoulder doesn't mean you should uh, do what they say. What they should do is they should be able to give reasonable, articulable suspicion of whatever it is. That, if they're there to disarm you, how about, come this? To your how about door just to not door? answer the door in the first place? I think it's a really good uh, choice when it comes the, to the government. The people that answer the door, as we discussed, I think, last night on the show, the people that answered the door after Hurricane Katrina down in the New Orleans area, uh, they had their guns stripped from them. Their homes were searched, but if their door wasn't answered, they were less likely, the military guys were less likely to go in and actually raid those people's homes. That was my understanding of having seen the ABC News video from uh, what happened back then, when we were actually reporting on it as it was happening here on Free Talk Live. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You may call in and make whatever wild claims you want. It's Free Talk Live. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. For all of you who are inspired to create your own unique holiday cards and gifts. For all of you, there's Vistaprint.com. At Vistaprint.com, creating personalized holiday cards is simple. Choose from hundreds of designs and add your own photos and special messages. And there's 60% off. Plus, personalized one-of-a-kind gifts are also to 60% off. It's our best deal of the season. But hurry, offer ends December 7th. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to Vistaprint.com, click the microphone in the upper right corner, and enter code RADIO60. Vistaprint.com, code radio the word 60 the experts at web.com want to build your business a successful website for free just like we did for these current web.com customers we've used and and looked at other website designers but there's nobody better than web.com web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free plus we'll promote it on all the major search engines like google yahoo and bing if after 30 days you're happy we'll continue to provide promotion hosting support and maintenance all for one low monthly fee If not, cancel and pay nothing. If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. That's 800-297-0154. Why did you move to the Shire? 
I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. Khalid lives in Gaza. He makes his living as a taxi driver. The engine in his old beater blew up. Now, he makes good money driving people in his cab, but he couldn't afford the $1,300 for a new engine. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the engine, and he's back on the road. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference. One cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls. Toll-free number 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can make ridiculous, unsubstantiated claims. Uh, you know, that's what we do here. We can take your calls about that. Or you can call in with whatever happens to be on your mind. The we includes me, Ian. Uh, me, Johnny Ray. And me, Mark. And we would like to invite you to visit our website. Go to amp.freetalklive.com. That is our amplifier page. For those of you who are willing to get behind this program uh, and help us spread the ideas of freedom as far and as wide as possible, we really could use your assistance, and you can do it with any major credit card through PayPal or Visa and MasterCard right on our website. Just go to amp.freetalklive.com. You get perks like, you know, nice bonuses like the access to the Amp Only call-in lines, the Amp Only Facebook group, the Amp Only forum. Go get all the details and get signed up over at amp.freetalklive.com. Again, as little as 5 bucks a month makes a huge difference for Free Talk Live. It helps us get on new radio stations. We've got over 150 stations, and we would not have them. We'd have maybe 20 if it weren't for the AMP program. I firmly believe that it's the AMP program that has really made our radio expansion possible. And you can help get behind the show and get all the bennies over at amp.freetalklive.com. We've got the Pizza Dude in North Dakota. Still to come, we've got more things that successful people just refuse to do. Pizza Guy, you're on Free Talk Live. Uh, last time after I called in, we ended up with a little bit of an argument over uh, what's reality. Uh, we got in the weeds on that. Well, I'd like to say before you go on that at least we don't have to argue about Rand Paul anymore. I heard rumor he's not running for president. Uh, that Well, that's not true. He's running for both. Oh, but is that right? What? Yeah. Well, he's, he's going for uh, the Senate seat on the presidential bid. Okay, yeah, I heard there was news about that as of today. Okay, maybe I misunderstood. Have you yeah, heard anything I, I, today? It's not they're not mutually exclusive. You you can there's been some kind of a ruling, I guess. I I don't know the specifics on it, but huh. I'm I'm pretty sure they plan on doing both. Okay. That's not what Daryl W. Perry told me today. It seems like uh he is certainly running for office, doesn't it? He's definitely yeah. running for Senate, from what I understand. Well, I mean, it seems like he's running for from, president, too. From what I heard, they needed uh, like the Republicans to change some sort of ruling or change some sort of rule that would allow him to run simultaneously. And, that and at the same time? Apparently, the Democrats, ran, uh, the Democrats won or something like that, uh, and so therefore the Republicans won't do that. That's what I heard from Daryl W. Perry, but he's not here to defend his uh, position on that. Well, so. I, I could be wrong. Yeah, go ahead so. with, uh, go ahead with uh, what you were calling about. Yeah, well, yeah, back in the the land of the ethereal and, and unknowable, um, 
you know, we, we, you guys ended up talking about uh, what's truth and what's reality. Does perception change reality? Derek J was bringing up. Well, you know, if you have, if you have a positive point of view, then things will become more positive. And uh, you know, uh, Mark was saying how well, no, there's there's only one reality, and I'm trying to find that truth. And and you guys have had that argument before. I do believe that if you perceive things positively, that you will have a better life, and that you will. Uh, the more positive things will happen, that these things pile up over time. You view uh, certain things that could be viewed negatively as positive. So um, I believe in an objective reality, but I also believe that, uh, that there's a value to a positive mental attitude. Well, I, I think there, there's a fundamental thing that uh, is called postmodernism. Uh, when, once you start to realize that you can't know anything real true knowledge uh is impossible because there is the whole problem of you're the thing perceiving that knowledge so uh ian you had said the only thing you can know is your senses but not even that's true uh that can be easily faked oh flawed. i've said that i've said that before a bunch of times that you, you can't really even know that you're here because yeah. your senses could be you know provided by a computer program yeah i just find that really frustrating i mean like you either have objective reality or you don't have objective reality and you look both ways before you cross the street <laughs> so <laughs> i didn't say that it's not uh you know perceptible reality but uh whether or not it's actually there is unprovable yeah when i i have i have a way to solve this once and for all so that you guys never have to argue about it again and thank everybody god be happy and we can we i can thought it, the postmodernists out in the backyard i thought i would have to resort to murder go ahead <laughs> no, yeah. So, uh, yes, while while knowledge is ultimately impossible, what we can have is a series of likelihoods. And that's real. And if you just phrase it that way and come from yes. that perspective and then it's over. I mean, yes, it's possible that none of you guys are real and I made you up. So I have something to listen to while delivering pizzas. Mm -hmm. But that's very unlikely. Yeah, right? so you could whatever. actually be a, um, a a 17th century Chinese guy on a uh, heroin trip right now. That's pretty could, deep, could man. Could be. Seems unlikely. <laughs> it seems right? unlikely, right? <laughs> there, there, there could be chemtrails in the air that nobody knows about, and only you on the radio have this secret knowledge that nobody else could figure out because you're so much clever. But uh, that's unlikely, right? And so mm -hmm. once you start looking at it from that lens, um, it be things become a lot clearer, and you can kind of cut through that postmodern um, malarkey. And uh, malarkey is a good word for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to, when in doubt, leave it out. Um, but yeah, you can kind of cut through that, and so there, there you have it. So thanks. Just yeah. That's, Thanks for that pizza, it. dude. I appreciate the call tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Is C Clear Channel's policy on um, objectionable material, when in doubt, leave it out from ten, 10 years ago, is that so... Uh, it, it got it so popular that it's actually part of the nomenclature now? I mean, that we're... we're no. Well, I've had people... We've had people call in and talk about it. What, why did he just say it just now? We've said it on the air. We certainly have, Sure. Maybe he's heard it on the air before. Well, if enough people have said it on the air, then it has become part of the... I wouldn't say it is uh, outside of, you know, maybe it's not outside of Free Talk Live listeners. I, okay. I have no idea. And by the way, they are now calling themselves iHeartMedia. That's right. Clear Channel is no more. They only own billboards called Clear Channel uh, Outdoor, Outdoor, I believe. And now all of their radio stations are owned by a company called iHeart. Media, same company. They just changed their name. Which What's really was funny a smart about move this on their on their part? What's funny about this is that Clear Channel is a radio term. That's it, correct. It is uh, one of many radio stations in the United States that are on a Clear Channel. It's so, an FCC designated term. Yeah. So it's a there'll be one radio station in the nation of the United States that's on that particular dial position, and I don't know them all, but uh, you know a few of WSB in in Atlanta comes to mind. Uh, WOR in New York. Uh, you you know, these big, big stations, usually three letters. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And so the idea that the billboard, the outdoor, the company that owns a bunch of outdoors is called Clear Channel just seems kind of silly. Oh, I don't know. I think it still fits for their uh, their outdoor division. But iHeartMedia, Heart well, it's a clear channel to the eyeballs of the people. At, yeah. Yeah. So there you go. I don't F own any stock. AM by and the FM way. Outdoor. <laughs> I have no stock in uh, in Clear Channel or iHeartMedia. I just think that iHeartMedia is a better name. I think I do from an artifact of the process. Yeah, it's just an artifact.
Uh, Daryl W. Perry has corrected uh, what he said earlier. He was pretty certain that he was quitting. The Rand Paul was quitting the president presidential run thing. And now apparently Daryl has read something just a moment ago that says Rand Paul is still considering running for president and that his team is trying to figure out how to get around the incompatible offices requirement in Kentucky law. So apparently there is a some sort of provision that is preventing him or will prevent him likely from running for both Senate and president in Kentucky. Daryl did say earlier that he could mount a campaign for president in the other 49 states or, you know, the other 50, include District of Columbia. So he, he couldn't get, he just couldn't win Kentucky. That that would be a possibility. Okay. Uh, from what uh, from what Daryl was explaining to me earlier. So Drat, looks like Rand Paul's still in it. <laughs> we'll likely continue to hear a uh, debate about that as time rolls on. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Rich is listening in Montana. You're on Free Talk Live. Rich. I want to backtrack on what that lady was talking about a little bit. Okay. The, no- the northeast part of the country, I don't know about what Russia truth, but there was a report, I don't know, maybe about a year ago. They they were actually training Russian troops in uh, Colorado. Yeah, that was like a couple dozen airmen, right? Like uh, parachute guys? No, these were commandos they were training. Okay. Yeah, I've been hearing these. Um, I, I, I was hearing that they were training uh, NATO troops, and I think it was from some African country that uh, in urban warfare in Cleveland. And I was hearing that back in 1996. Well, here's a story from the AP in May 17th of 2012, Denver, where they're talking about how 22 Russian Army paratroopers uh, were in Colorado for two weeks of training with the 10th Special Forces Group. So it's not unheard of. There's a book you guys really need to get and read. It's called The Perils of Sustainable Development. Well, it's I don't really have much name. time for that, so maybe you could give me the executive summary it, here. It's basically what the U.N. is doing to this country. Now, when she talks about hiding people on, uh, biospheres. Say, Ye- say, Yellowstone, say in Yellowstone, a national monument type, there are actually vast swaths of this c- country, like Yellowstone, for instance, uh, that the United States no longer owns anymore. Uh Yellowstone was actually given away by Richard Nixon. It's called a wildlife heritage area now. Yeah, I've heard of these uh, these things that, that uh, somehow the UN has some sort of stake in them or whatever. I there, don't, is I... a, there is a fight going on in Texas right now over the Alamo. They're trying to take that over. Who, the well, Russians? The Texans won't give up the Alamo. <laughs> no, the, the, the UN. <laughs> oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, we got to get rid of that UN thing and get rid of the US as well while we're at it. Thanks for the call, well, Rich. More coming up here in moments. 855-450 free. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. In a trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. Legislative, executive, judicial, the fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the Fully Informed Jury Association at FIJA.org. Should you be able to earn an honest living free from senseless government interference? The Institute for Justice thinks so. That's why we've spent years defending hardworking men and women from pointless government regulations. Nationwide, IJ has created opportunity by reducing government power. But there is still more work to be done. Visit our website today at ij.org. Let IJ take care of the government so you can take care of your business. 
Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Tuesday, December 2nd, 2014. Gold closed Monday at $1,206, up $39. Silver closed at $16.40, up $0.93. Cents. And Bitcoin is trading around $377.25. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. This edition of Liberty Beat is sponsored by Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. In the news, on Monday, President Barack Obama said he's asking Congress for $75 million to buy 50,000 body cameras for local law enforcement. President Obama also stated he would not be making changes to the Federal 1033 program that supplies local law enforcement with military equipment. The announcement comes a week after protesters and police clashed in Ferguson, Missouri, following a grand jury's decision not to indict Darren Wilson for the murder of Michael Brown. Supreme Court justices this week are debating the question of where the line should be drawn between free speech and illegal threats when made in an online forum. The case argued yesterday involves a Pennsylvania man convicted of making violent threats. Lawyers for Anthony Alona say he didn't mean to threaten anyone. They contend the government must prove he actually intended his comments as actual threats to others. The government argues the real test is whether his words would make a reasonable person feel threatened. The American Civil Liberties Union is supporting a Baltimore man in his efforts to dismiss evidence gathered by the Baltimore Police Department using controversial cell site simulators known as stingrays. Robert Harrison is a suspected accomplice in a murder-for-hire plot. Police were able to locate and gather information about Harrison using the stingray, which they did without the use of a warrant. The ACLU filed an amicus brief in support of Harrison, stating that the stingray violated his Fourth Amendment. The government did not gain proper authorization to use the device, and they should reveal information about how the device is applied. The Liberty Bee is brought to you in part by eFoods Direct, redefining the way you think about storable food. They've created a menu of food that's so good, so easy to make, you'll find yourself eating it every day, even though it has a shelf life of up to 25 years. eFoods Direct is offering 10% off to all Liberty Beat listeners. Just go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat. Or call 800-620-5520 and mention Liberty Beat for your savings today. Support for Liberty Beat also comes from The Corey Moore Show. Comedy-focused, liberty-minded. Live each Friday night at 10 o'clock Eastern Time at CoreyMooreShow.com. This is The Liberty Beat for Tuesday, December 2nd, 2014. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com. And like us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash TheLibertyBeat. In the coming weeks, the Obama administration will make announcements regarding rules for the use of drone aircraft and privacy. The White House is reviewing policy initiatives related to integrating drones into national airspace and will soon rule on the Federal Aviation Administration's rules for small unmanned aerial systems. The Wall Street Journal reports that the FAA's rules are expected to include a license requirement, limits to daylight hours, and below 400 feet. President Obama will also be issuing an executive order regarding privacy issues for drones. Arnhem, one of the largest cities in the Netherlands, is the home to the first supermarket that accepts the cryptocurrency Bitcoin as payment. The Spa Arnhem Central first opened in March 2014, but only began accepting Bitcoin this week. The store has not yet announced if they will accept Bitcoin at their other locations across 35 countries. A new video has been released by the Maasai calling for global support and solidarity for their efforts to oppose land theft by the Tanzanian government. A reported 40,000 Maasai are facing expulsion from their homeland following a decision by the Tanzanian government to seize a portion of their land for a wildlife corridor. The indigenous community says they will use violence, if necessary, to defend their way of life. The Liberty Beat is made possible by Midas Resources Incorporated. 
helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Want to reach tens of thousands of like-minded listeners every day with your messenger product? The Liberty Beat is looking for sponsors for their daily news service. Support this grassroots media project while expanding your reach to a targeted market. To inquire further, visit thelibertybeat.com slash advertise. This is The Liberty Beat for Tuesday, December 2nd, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. The Onion looks back at This Week in History. On July 17, 1980, Ronald Reagan accepted the nomination for president at the Republican National Convention in Detroit and delivered a speech in which he boldly promised that during his presidency, someone would body slam Andre the Giant. While admitting that the road would be long and hard, and that it might take as long as seven years and two WrestleManias to get there. The former California governor vowed that under his administration, somebody, perhaps Ricky the Dragon Steamboat or a hulked up Hulk Hogan, would grab hold of the 500 pound behemoth and send his massive body smashing to the mat. The Republican nominee also went on to promise that by the end of his first term, Joni would marry Chachi, hair metal would achieve mainstream airplay, and Shelley Long would successfully make the leap from television to film. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want as we launch here into the second hour of the program. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. In the first hour, we got through five of the list of 20 things that successful people supposedly refuse to do. And we can continue on that list, of course, so you can call in about anything. We had one call in the last hour about making some ridiculous claim that 15,000 Russian troops were here being hidden uh, in biospheres, whatever that is. Now, if you look up UN biosphere, there is some... There's some detail about that. Apparently they're uh, hiding things in them. I, I don't know where they are or what they are. I have not done any of the research on that, nor do I really care. Well, I think that the scary thing about troops here in America is the idea of, and I think that this is valid, right? Like if you send U.S. troops to Iraq, they'll do things there. Because we've read all kinds of stories about, uh, you know, the, the tyrannical things they were doing during the Iraq war. Sure. Uh, st- you know, roadside stops and that sort of thing. Raping people. Uh, well, I'm talking about things that they were doing that was considered legitimate oh, and okay. orders. I'm well, not because talk- other things happen when you send men to war, right? right. There's al- Things are always bad. Things are going to always happen in war. There's no doubt about it. Um, hopefully, when they're caught, they'll be brought before military justice and, you know, if that'll be taken care of. If right. they're, they're caught. No doubt. That's not what I want to yep. talk about. Okay. I want to talk about what they're ordered to do. House-to-house searches, car vehicle stops, the sort of thing that would not be acceptable here in the United States, right. the, the troops will readily do. Oh, wait, they did afford- it here in the United States, Mark. Remember after the Boston bombing? House-to-house searches. It wasn't troops. It was uh, Sure police. as hell looked like troops. They, they were dressed like troops, I can tell you that. They had machine guns like troops. Right. I, I get it. And I think that we're the, the frog is beginning to boil. Mm. You, you don't have to – I'm not going to argue with you on that. But I think that what people's fear is is that – Foreign troops working for the U.S. government or the U.N. or whatever nefarious body is looking to take away your rights. And I, and I would say, you know, you, is all you need to do is start naming off the largest governmental bodies on the planet and you have the list of dangerous people. I've got it. Um, but I think really the scariest part is how much U.S. troops, U.S. police would do here Oh, yeah. We we touched if, on that last night. If they were given a good enough story. Police are already doing roadside checks. They'll stop you in the middle of the road and ask for your ID and It started check with DUI checkpoints, but yes. now they're doing, they're doing uh, registration checkpoints. They are literally stopping people and demanding they show ID and car registration. Right. The only thing they don't have is a crappy Hollywood uh, German accent. Mm-hmm. Jaw peppers, please. Yeah, because like, they do have jackboots. They're asking for your papers to drive the car. And this is how it goes, right? Like it gets ramped up so slowly. But under the right circumstance, as you've shown, Ian, in Boston after the, the bombing, they're, they're taking people out of their homes at gunpoint. Yeah, it's, it was crazy. With military vehicles on the street and running them. I mean, it was... The only thing that would have made it worse is if they were executing those people. 
I mean, that's... Well, I suppose they could be that, reassigning them to some kind of uh, camp or some something. Some kind of camp? Okay, that would have been worse. And then executing them would have been worse uh, from there. So, but, like, it's almost to the point of as bad as it could be. I, I just, I, I guess I'm not ready to accept, uh, you know, state police shooting people, uh, given orders, just shooting civilians when they're given orders, especially when those houses likely contain children. Mm. Now, uh, you know, the the question, I, I don't know, right? Like, they, they could pass down the order and say, this ethnic group is now at war with the United States, and you need to cleanse them. The ethnic cleansing is, is as far back as you can go in human history. It can't happen here, Mark. No? It can't happen They here. were just this locking people States. up post-9-11. They were just locking people up for being Middle Eastern. Well, it's not like we. It's not like the uh, people in the United States government locked up people for being uh, Japanese or German. Oh, wait. No, they, they did that back in the 1940s. Sure. So don't think it can't happen here. Let's go to your calls and thoughts. We've got Jimmy in Arizona via Skype. Jimmy, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian, Johnny, Ray, and Mark. How y'all doing? Jimmy, you're on the air. Doing great. Go ahead. Yeah, I kind of had a rough week. Uh, oh, man. It was Thanksgiving. Why was it a rough week? Well, I accidentally cut off the circulation to my penis. <laughs> you've mm-hmm. got to watch out with that. Now, what were you doing? Without being well, too graphic, you've got to remember there's, uh, you know, family listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I've been huffing gasoline to ease the pain. <laughs> uh, Kids, do not try this at home. No, this is a very bad idea. Yeah, well, hey, I called in because... Uh, this story kind of relates to that. Hmm. I want a uh, apology from Dave in New York. <laughs> yeah. For what? He he said that I that I commit bestiality. Did he? I don't even remember this he, call. When was this? Yeah. Uh, we were talking online. Oh. Uh, so. Oh. Okay. So you went to so Dave in New York for long, for listeners who are new to the show. Dave uh, in New York is sort of a regular caller. He's uh, he's called a number of times over the last year or so and has been upset about people arguing with him on the Internet. He often repeats himself over and over again. Him. And so apparently you found him on the Internet and you uh, had a little chat with him? Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and this is what kind of leads into it. So y'all know, because I know y'all follow me on LinkedIn and MySpace, y'all know that I'm a big-time <laughs> hunter, right? You sound like it. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I got myself one of them big bucks you know mm-hmm. and uh it's coming up me and milford's uh 10 year anniversary and uh so uh i thought it'd be nice i used uh one of the 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 bucks uh butthole and i made a ring out of it i bet she'll love that and yeah yeah and well, then i thought i'd surprise her and uh i put it on my penis <laughs> and uh yeah so uh that's you know, and then I told Dave this, and he just left he it there said, too oh. long. How long did you leave it on? Uh, it was only for a couple of hours. Oh yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be bad. yeah. But when I showed Milford, obviously, you know, it it I accidentally cut the circulation yeah, off. Yeah, that'll ruin the mood. It turned into a mess. But anyway, he said that I committed. Is she a, a big sphincter fan? I mean, or is that like a baseball team? What? It, yeah, indeed. Yeah, the, the so, Toledo sphincters. Yeah, they're sure. I, she probably is. Uh, but yeah, it's uh no, it's just I make a ring at them. It's like it was our anniversary. I got her this nice ring, and I got you know. Well, you know, it I is a thought. I wanted to give it to her in a it special a way. And, but wait, where did Dave in yeah. New York come into this? I... Well, we were talking uh on a chat room, and I told him uh, about what I was doing for Milfred, you know, and he's like, "Oh, that's bestiality," and I'm like, "What do you mean? It's like a special thing that I would do for her," and uh, you know, and and she. He just said, "Oh, you're it's it's like having, you know, relations with a buck, you know, and it's gay bestiality there's, also." Well, there's an argument. I mean, at the very least, for the bestiality claim, I I would say. And necrophilia. Oh, there's also that. Yeah, uh, Jimmy, very disturbing. Thank you for the call tonight. I don't think I, I want to go any further. I'd with go as far this, as uh, story. say I horrifying. I, how does too one far. think this stuff up too far? Too I far. hope I never know. Yeah, well, there are, you know, it comes back to the conversation we've had a number of times about sexual deviancy and that uh, if, if people are repressed sexually, they're more likely to do bizarre things. Now, maybe Jimmy was telling the truth or not, uh, but there certainly are plenty of videos of people doing things that are very disturbing, more so uh, than what Jimmy alleged is alleged to have done. I mean, there's some pretty disturbing. 
disturbing video footage on uh, the internet. And I don't think we need to go into, you know, the details about no what, shortage of that stuff. what you'll see if you watch something like One Guy, One Jar. Now, I don't recommend you do that. But if you were to watch it, you might be even more disturbed uh, than by what you just heard there. Yeah, please don't. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We're talking about uh, successful people and generally cutting off circulation of body parts will not contribute to your eventual success. Probably is going to... Set you back a few thousand dollars, uh, several thousand dollars maybe in uh, hospital bills at the very least. Indeed. So, so do stay away from that. Asphyxiation kids, probably not the safest uh, sexual fetish to get into. I realize he, he's not talking about asphyxiation. He killed but, the guy from uh, NXS, right? Yeah, I guess you're right about that. Michael Hutchins. Yeah, he hung himself in a hotel room. Uh, so yeah, asphyxiation, it's a real dangerous one. And also the kids, right? Like aren't they doing the choking game? which doesn't have anything to do with sex, but it does have to do with asphyxiation. Cutting off circulation, just generally not a good thing. That's The the, the, the choking game was a thing that was played even when I was a kid. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's been done just even longer. Just to long get high, right? Yeah. Just get some sort of a rush. Yeah. Toll free. Now, kids, stick to stick to marijuana. 855 450 free. I'm serious about that. Well, it's better than hanging just yourself in a hotel room. I'm just trying to save lives. And gas huffing, also bad idea. Bad idea. Alcohol, bad idea. More coming up. 855 450 free. You could take control of the airwaves here on Free Talk Live. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, "Let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas." There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, 
Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, we invite you here to bring up whatever's on your mind. Just take control of the airwaves toll-free at 855-450-FREE. You can join us online. Drop by freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features that we have waiting for you there. You can help support the show by shopping with us at shop.freetalklive.com. There's Amazon links there. You just click into the right Amazon for you, Amazon US, Amazon UK, Amazon Canada, and Free Talk Live gets a cut of the sale. Go to shop.freetalklive.com. Now, there's some things you cannot buy at Amazon, like... Pro XPN. It's a global virtual private network. They encrypt your internet data. So right now, without Pro XPN, your ISP, your internet service provider, is probably logging all of the websites you visit, the search terms that you enter. They may be keeping those logs for as many as five years in some cases. You can put a stop to that right now by going and downloading the free software from proxpn.com slash FTL. Software is available for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, Android devices, and even Linux users can get ProXPN working. It's a fairly simple process there. proxpn.com slash FTL to get started. When you're ready to upgrade from their free account to premium level, you'll get unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world that you can access, you can privately torrent, as well as get past regionally blocked websites. And you can do it all for 50% off the price of the annual account by using our discount code FTL50. That's FTL like Free Talk Live and the number 50. And that, by the way, that savings is good for the lifetime of the account. Plus, you can save even more if you pay with Bitcoin and use code FTLBTC. You get 62% off the price of the annual account with that code. And you get it all with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL and use promo code FTL50 or FTL. BTC and get a great discount on privacy. That's priceless. Toll free number tonight is 855 453. Ian, Johnny Ray, and Mark all in the studio. We started in the first hour with a list of 20 things that successful people refuse to do. And we're going to continue on that list. If you missed the first five, you can go and grab the link over on our Facebook, Google Plus, or Twitter. Uh, but number six, successful people do not let failure bring them down. Successful people. You mean in the long term? <laughs> Well, uh, what do you mean? Nobody doesn't get brought down by failure in the short term. Okay. Well, as long as you keep your head up and you know that, you know, like, for instance, if you're in sales, you know you're going to get no's, right? So you shouldn't let the no's that you're receiving from people you're trying to pitch whatever product or service to get you down. You really shouldn't let it get to you if you can, if you can all at all avoid that because every no is one no closer to a yes. You've got to keep things like that in mind. Yeah, I heard a sales guru once saying that uh, – he was saying if you have an average of one yes for every nine – knows meaning you're, you're pretty you've good got a 10 percent uh rate of of getting sales or getting new customers he said that uh, you shouldn't let uh the, those no's discourage you because they're 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 like one tenth of your success you just need yeah, to get gotta get them you just need to get nine eight more of those and then uh and then and then the next one will be a sale yeah, I so I do sales for a living. Of, right. the, of the three of us in the room, I'm probably the most selly guy here. And I've got to say that there are some no's that are worse than others. And mm-hmm. you... Like, yeah, if they say no, you a-hole, that could right. be... That could Click, hurt. you yeah. know, that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, sometimes you just got to take a walk. Mm-hmm. You know, go get a cup of coffee or do whatever you got to do to, you know, sort of shake it off. Um, there are, honestly, one, as a salesperson... I think if I looked, you know, from the big picture, if I take the bird's eye view, mm-hmm. I'd rather get the go to hell click 
answer than I would the, you know, it sounds like it might be an okay idea. Why don't you call me again in two weeks? The wishy-washy person that keeps sure. putting you off for years. In my line of work, that I happens. literally have customers that I have been dealing with for years and you, never got a sale out of. You, can you really call them a customer if you've never actually client never prospect? Purchased something? Prospect would be the right yeah. term. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'd still consider them my client. I still serve them. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you know, in my line of work, I serve people before I get paid. Correct. And so. Uh, yeah, yeah, but- it sucks to get strung along. But you know what? I, I've actually had to pan out, right? Like, so I sell something different. I sell sure, Free Talk Live to uh, radio stations, not with money transferring hands, but just selling the idea of Free Talk Live. Affiliate relations. But in the radio yeah. business, they also call it affiliate sales. That's right, because you know, you're you're pitching your program essentially to these program directors and. You know, there's one station, I won't say which one it is, that uh, we've got on the air, and it literally took me several years to finally make that happen. And there were there was time where the guy was literally saying he was going to put us on, and he was continuing to going to put us on for years. <laughs> and finally, you know, finally got the signed agreement, finally made it happen. But, you know, sometimes that happens, and you just can't let it get you down. You really just can't. So going on here with the list... Uh, they believe that no matter successful people believe that no matter how many times they fail, they will get back up again stronger than before. Number seven, sort of on the same track, they don't let problems bring them down. If you let your life get weighed down by problems, you're not going to be anything but stressed. And that is the way to having more problems in life. When facing a problem, instead of focusing on the solution, or rather, excuse me, ex- instead of focusing on the problem, you should focus on your action and what you can do to make the situation better. By shifting your focus like this, you will feel better and maybe even find a way, a better way, to solve the problem. Yeah, if you're always sort of shaking your fist at the sky and saying, why did this happen to me? It's a really disempowering position. Mm. You know, the the rain falls on the just and the unjust, as the Bible says, and it's true. You're going to have some problems, and there's no anything about it that's just that. Number nine, they don't make excuses. Oh, wait, I skipped one. one. Number eight, they don't let other people's judgments affect their self-esteem. Successful people don't let themselves and their self-esteem get bogged down by other people's words or judgments. They know that what they're worth, they know what they're worth and what they stand for. They know what they want out of their lives and what they're looking for and what they uh, and they and they have their own rules for making all that happen for themselves. They don't rely on outside approval and they don't need others to prove their worth. So they don't let other people's judgments affect their self-esteem. It makes you you're making it sound like uh, successful people are a bunch of sociopaths that don't need others, um, that uh, aren't affected by their outside about the outside world. Like they just you know they charge forward. And I don't think that that's entirely true. I think that you've got to you 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 should take in uh, consideration what the feedback that other people give you in your life. Yeah, but if you know what you want, uh, then you really should stick with your uh, follow your heart. I can tell you, Mark, that I had uh, at least two instances that I can recall when I was a teenager and interested in getting into radio. I had at least two people try to dissuade me from that. One of them was a lady who ran the externship program at the high school in which I worked. She what tried was to, her reasoning? She tried to tell me I shouldn't uh, intern at a radio station because all they were going to do was make me clean the station van or something like that. That somebody, someone else she knew had done that, and he had a terrible experience with it or something like that. Uh-huh. And so she tried to talk me out of it. Luckily, I ignored her because uh, I knew what I wanted to do. And uh, in, then there was like one of the ladies I worked with at uh, Kmart. She told me she didn't think I had a voice for radio. And... You know, of course, is it the same voice? Well, I mean, I probably had a slightly higher voice than when I was a, a teenager. But, uh, you know, the, I was aware that radio voices didn't really matter that much anymore. You know? Yeah. You don't have to have that deep, ballsy voice or whatever to uh, to do radio. And uh, so I didn't let that dissuade me either. And Mark, for what it's worth, number eight says they don't let other people's judgments affect their self-esteem. Okay. So... Uh, I, I, you know, other people's thinking is is very helpful, and uh, you can benefit from other people's learning. But your self esteem, I guess, you, uh, you should don't, don't let know, them get you high. down. There's more coming up here in moments. Eight fifty five, four fifty free. 
Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. Mom, I can't do my math homework. I just don't get it. I hate math. (sighs) I've always tried to be a good mother, but when it came to Jamie's math, I was at a loss. Then a friend told me about Math Made Easy DVDs. Concepts are simplified in an easy way to follow and review, and students can learn at their own pace in the convenience of home. Listen, in the frustration, call Math Made Easy. Call now, 1-800-USA-MATH. That's 1-800-872-6284. Or visit us at mathmadeeasy.com. You know how annoying it is when someone keeps stopping mid-sentence as though he or she were asking you a series of questions? Avoid doing that. It sounds unnervingly tentative, and it imposes upon the listener to help you complete the thought. And if you're a job seeker, this alone could be a deal killer. An effective communicator sounds more confident. Complete the thought. Avoid making the listener impatient. With money and attention so scarce now, Effective communication skills have never been more important. Cutting through the clutter, rather than blending into the blah, 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 will help you connect better no matter what the conversation. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Survivalspeech.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at Facebook.LRN.FM. That's Facebook.LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. We're talking about success. What is it that successful people refuse to do? That's, for whatever reason, the way this article's written. It, they, you know, everything is they don't. Well, you could also say it's what successful people do as well. It's kind of a success, an article about success written from the negative <laughs> side. 
Uh, we'll continue with this because there's 20 of these, and we've gotten through eight of the 20. You're welcome to add in your uh, additions uh, to this list. Certainly it's not complete, and we have not gotten into detailed discussion on all of them. So you know, feel free to share your experiences uh, and how they relate to some of these things. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Maybe some of these things you've been doing for a long time, and maybe you'll get something fresh out of the list that you never really considered before. Or maybe it had been a long time since you've heard it. And you needed to hear it again. We're here for you here tonight. You can also bring up whatever happens to be on your mind with you tonight. Ian here. Johnny Ray. And Mark. And don't forget about how to get some great coffee. Mark, please instruct. Just go to coffee.freetalklive.com. It's really that easy. We have a subscription program there you sign up for. You get a free pound of coffee. Uh, you pay for the shipping. It's great coffee. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, top 1% grade Arabica beans. If you continue with the subscription, you can cancel at any time. You can get your free pound and go. But if you continue, you will upgrade your coffee drinking experience with BuzzBox Coffee. It's among, among, among the best coffee you'll probably drink in your life. But what you'll also be able to do is to help people around the world. Because what BuzzBox is doing is cutting us back uh, a check out of the proceeds that we're able to, to loan out to people through Kiva.org. So you're drinking coffee already. Well, upgrade the experience and help people in the process. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. We've given out many microloans, and we hope to give out many more. So it's coffee.freetalklive.com. All right, toll-free number again, 855-450-FREE. We move on to number nine on the list here from... Huffington Post reposting a brandmentalist.com list of things that successful people refuse to do. Number nine, they don't make excuses. Successful people take responsibility for their mistakes. If things don't go as planned or something goes wrong, they'll take responsibility for it and fix the problem. Successful people are determined to get their goals achieved each day, no matter how big or small, and they don't make excuses. Number 10, they don't envy other people's success. Successful people believe that everyone has the ability to become successful. They believe that the more successful people there are, the better this world will become. Seeing other people succeed doesn't make them envy, but rather makes them feel inspired and motivated. You know, that to me does really truly uh, identify somebody who's always not going to be successful is the ones that just sit there and you know, they're just eaten up with the envy of other people. Oh, they've got this and they've got that. Those rich people. Yeah, you know, the whole the whole thing. And it just, it's like, really? That's what bothers you? You know, they've got mm. a jet or an attractive girlfriend or whatever it is that they've got. Believe me, they've got all kinds of problems that are their own. Um, take a look at the Hollywood people and the amount of people that die from drug use. Mm-hmm. You really think it's that great there? Robin Williams just committed suicide. Just thinking the same thing. Yeah, yeah it's it, well, I'm thinking of that Heath Ledger guy. Um, mm. I mean, I don't know what killed him. Was a speedballing or something like that? I can't remember. I never know. But um, you know, I mean, they're, they're, these these people just dropping all the time. It's not because they're living really fantastic lives. Mm -hmm. They may fantastic. have the trappings of wealth, but sure. that doesn't mean, as was touched on earlier in the list, that they're they're happy. Well, it's like a car. Uh, you know, like, really, what's the difference between a $3,000 car and a $300,000 car? Oh, well, the $3,000 car might have an oil leak or something like that. A $3,000, you can probably get a car that doesn't have an oil yeah, leak. Yeah. but Not much of a difference. It's no. got you know, leather you, seats. I, I heated guess. Heated seats. What, 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 what do, yeah, okay, heated seats, not so bad. You can wear a jacket, but, you know, yeah, what, whatever. Yeah. It really, when it comes down to it, the, you apply your foot to the gas pedal, it goes. If it's got a sound system that's somehow inferior to what you want, you can switch it out for a couple of hundred bucks and get, you know, the thing that you can plug in your MP3 player or, what, or whatever, too. You're not talking about that much of a difference in life. Rich people and poor people, um, you know, middle class people, I should say, really don't live that much of a different life, I, from what I can tell. I mean, what's the difference in living at a top, uh, the penthouse in New York City, and my life in an 800-square-foot cabin in the woods in New Hampshire? Well, it just depends on whether or not you can be happy with one of those things or another. But and what if makes you, can, you happy? That's just the, the thing. you got to make you happy. You, right. You, the, the direction you're going in is always what makes you happy, not where, not your location, not where you are. I think a lot of people just want to be looked at like, oh, wow, aren't you special? Mm -hmm. And, okay, 
So you're, you're special. special. Congratulations, <laughs> you're special. Every one of you people are special. Great. Well, Get out there and have a good life. So now the difference, there's a difference between envy and seeing something that you desire, but you know, you're not jealous of the other person for having it, right? Like, uh, you know, if you see someone with a car that you really like, you can say to yourself, "Huh, I'd like to have one of those someday." Nothing wrong with but, yeah, nothing wrong with liking something yeah. and aspiring to have it. Envy would be like, "That son of a how dare he you know like i am so jealous of him having this he has it and i can't have it well maybe you could have it if you had the right attitude about it and, you know down the line maybe you can buy it used from that guy someday uh, who knows yeah the um I, charles givens in his book wealth without risk or more wealth without risk or whatever um and by the way there's he may not have the best advice on all insurance but whatever um he he suggests that the best way to buy a car is, is just get the car you want to it's two years old yeah. and sell it at four years old, and that way you're you know you're having the cars you want you're getting uh, getting them but you're not taking the biggest hit because when you drive that car off the lot that's when you're taking the hit. Everyone knows that, right? In case you didn't know, it's true. When you drive the car off the uh, the lot brand new, it's done for as far right. as right. I think that the best reason to get a newer car is so that you don't have mechanical problems but a two-year-old car is probably not going to have the problems i chose My car's to... 10 years old and it didn't have that many problems when i bought it with uh, like a hundred thousand miles on it but there you go and it was uh written hard it, yeah, was, a, it, was, it was a cop car a cop car um however i i went and got a new car but i did it for a reason i wanted to sort of promote the plug-in hybrid technology so yeah you don't want to buy gas That's yeah i don't i don't like buying gas and i feel like every gallon of gas you get is uh, another you know, dead Middle Eastern kid. Mm. Um, that there's just too much violence that goes on in that region over oil, and I'm not interested in participating in it. So I want to minimize the amount that I use. I'm not saying I don't use gasoline. I certainly do, but I use a lot less than a lot of other people do. Rusty's on the line. He's in Houston, Texas. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Rusty. Hey, how's it going, y'all? Good, sir. Go uh, ahead. I just want to say I, I think this article is kind of vague, and uh, it seems a little bit like you know, the book, The Secret, where if you just think happy thoughts, it's going to happen. I, I really don't think that's the case, especially, uh, you know, they talk about envy, and people can envy other other people, and that can be their drive. That could be what pushes them to get more. If you want a great family, you can be envious of, you know, someone else like, wow, they must have it all together. They have a great family, and that makes you want to alter yourself and be better. I don't know if that really defines uh, what envy. I mean, I don't know if what you're talking about there is is the definition. Yeah, of, a desire of envy. to be, have better things isn't envy. And I don't really see about, much law of. I mean, by the way, I'm on board for the law of attraction and all that, but uh, I don't see this particular article really uh, advocating that necessarily. I mean, they yes, they are advocating that you you know stay positive and don't let. Uh, failure get you down the first uh, the first step in positive good advice. positive action is positive thoughts i'm not talking about sitting there and, and wishing that you had better things i'm talking about you know you need a clear vision this is about goal setting and you need a clear vision of what you want in order to get there if you don't know uh, that you want to go to cleveland you're never going to arrive in cleveland right there's some good things sprinkled in there but i, I think it's probably equally as much it just it sounds kind of New age, you know, very vague kind of BS stuff. This isn't new age. Uh, have, I mean, you had, have you had uh, sort of uh, uh, advice on how to have a better life? Have you heard some somewhere that you thought was better than this? Like, uh, you know, a list that was just better? No, I think goal setting is uh, a good priority. I, I don't know. Maybe it's all point of view. It just, it, 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 you know, it doesn't pass the smell test to me. I think there's something fishy there and it's, it seems a little new agey. That's just my opinion. These are old uh, ideas. I mean, this, the ideas of how to be success well, are... new age is old. Uh, I guess where you're coming from now. I get where <laughs> you're coming from. Thank you, Rusty, for your call tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. If you're going to critique the list, get a little more specific. It's Free Talk Live. Mom gives us our own special Christmas ornament every year. This year, she gave me one with a picture of me playing soccer. It's my most favorite ornament ever. Each Christmas, moms everywhere create the wonderful tradition of placing special ornaments on the Christmas tree. 
This year, you can make your tradition even more special with unique, customizable ornaments from personalcreations.com. They have an amazing selection of adorable ornaments to choose from. You can even design the characters to look just like members of your family, including your pets. And you can customize each ornament with any name you'd like to make them truly one of a kind. Radio listeners, you can get a special deal. For a limited time when you order select ornaments on the site, you'll get a second one absolutely free. That's two amazing ornaments for the price of one, and personalization is included. But hurry, because this exclusive offer ends this Friday at midnight. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to personalcreations.com. Click on the orange star in the top right corner and enter the secret code 6767. That's personalcreations.com, secret code 6767. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Well, the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me. Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com Free Talk Live. It's written in legalese. If you don't have training in reading that crap, it might as well be a foreign language. Mm. And as you pointed out, it doesn't matter if you can read it. I thought I had them dead to rights. And (laughs) these bureaucrats, (laughs) they just, they just like, no, we do whatever we want here at the zoning board. Yeah, that's right. And you'll kiss our butts. Peon. Surf, you'll, <laughs> you'll slave. Do, you'll do what we say. Yeah. Why label them citizens? Oh. Why not just call it what it is? You're a surf. You're a slave. Well, We're yeah. the freest slaves in the world. Hey, S- if you don't lack this slavery, you should go to some other country and be a slave. At least we got cell phones and TV and beer. <laughs> do we have beer? Our masters let us live a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice life. They let us keep 40% of what we earn. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, dial toll-free to bring up anything you want. 855-450-FREE. We will continue on with the 20 things that successful people refuse to do. Uh, One of our callers said that he thought the list was New Age and I don't think I agree with that assessment. I mean, new age more has to do with like spirituality uh, than you know. Yeah, success. I think he, he I, heard some of that wishful th- magic thinking. Mm-hmm. I guess is what uh, the Law new term attraction. He's, yeah, um, and I agree completely uh, with him that you know you need to have uh, well. Like you need to have action in order to succeed at doing something. Sure. But I think that you need to have the positive thoughts before you're going to have the positive action. Like that's what yeah. gets everything rolling. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, the the idea that you're just going to sit there and think yourself all kinds of riches is pretty ridiculous. 
but if you're negative about whether or not you can achieve the, the things that you want, odds are good you're never going to get there. So you can't uh, keep talking down to yourself, you know, saying things like that you're not worthy or that, you know, you don't deserve this or that you can't have this. Yeah, I wonder, are there are there a bunch of uh, people who have, like, crappy attitudes about life, cynical and uh, pessimistic? Who've that made d- it. That, that may have made it. I don't know. Maybe without, without being, like, the son of a rich daddy or something like well, that? Well, sure. I mean, that's nice. Yeah. Like, you mean made it on their own volition. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I, I'd be interested. Like possibly because uh, they're not a, writing books. A comedian like Sam Kinison or George Carlin or something. You've picked two dead men. <laughs> 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 They've made it already. <laughs> they were successful. <laughs> Let's go to the phones here. If you can bring up anything, we still have another ten or eleven uh, on the list of twenty things that successful people don't do. Tomas is on the line with us from Skype. Tomas, you're on Free Talk Live, and you are calling from Prague. No, I'm actually calling from Singapore, but I'd like to talk to you about a place in Prague. Oh, okay, sure. Um, so this place is uh, a Crypto Anarchy Institute, or it's called Parallelpolis. The what, um, it's called a, what again? Uh, crypto Anar- or Institute of Crypto Anarchy. Okay. Um, and the, the name for it is Parallelpolis. I'll get to it. What does it mean? Okay. But it's, um, it's a four-story building with a hackerspace, makerspace, and a cafe which accepts only Bitcoin, nothing else, oh, cool. which I think is the first in the world. The, 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 it, it's, it's sort of a trolling <laughs> way. Um, they, they claim to make the best coffee in Prague, and in order to have it, you need to use Bitcoin. Good. All right. That's good to know. So, so this is a Crypto behind. Anarchy Institute. Is, this, you know, is it more than a coffee shop, though? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it, there, there's a co-working space uh, where I'm hoping to open up a, a, a small team um, in in a few months, and um, there's a there's a hacker space and maker space and all kinds of uh, so know, like a hacker space or maker space is where you can come in and you can use tools that are available yeah. to like community members who pay a certain monthly fee to be able to come in and use those tools, but maybe they wouldn't really want to buy one of those tools for their own uh, apartment or something like that. They, they need a larger yeah, area exactly. to work in, that kind of thing. Exactly, and there, there's, also a, there's also a co-working space if you just want a quiet space to, re, to work in with your laptop or something. Mm-hmm. And um, is it like a membership fee-based organization? Do you have to pay in Bitcoin for that fee? Yes, the whole building, the whole institute uses only Bitcoin, nothing else. Of Does course, it pay its to... rent in Bitcoin? Uh, no, <laughs> not yet. Aha. So they need to they need to convert uh, the, the inputs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, they 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 try to use or pay whatever they can in Bitcoin. I bet they do. Uh, yeah, they can't afford they convert. Me too. Um, uh, yeah, um, there there's also an interesting story about the name. It's called Parallelpolis, which comes from from 70s from uh, from a dissident because this is former Czechoslovakia, you know, behind the curtain wall. Um, and the name was created to define this sort of parallel economy that these dissidents worked in. A parallel they, economy. Okay. Yeah. Um, How do you were, spell were they, the name? Because it's it's not coming off. Parallelopolis. Uh, obvious when you speak uh, it. But parallel police. Um, yeah. I mean, if if you Google Crypto Anarchy Institute in Prague, then mm-hmm. you'll find the name as well. Okay. Um, it's it's a bit difficult to spell. Got it. So um, yeah, and and now they they they. Uh, borrowed this name to to define to create this space within European Union, which they consider over you know bureaucratized and and uh, yeah to create a space for people to be free. Uh, they also focus on cri- cryptography, freedom of information, um, and and all kinds of stuff. Very cool. And now I know that uh, Poland, I believe, is the same place where the Robin Hooding has uh, has spread. So this to. is Czech. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Eastern Europe. Uh, I was I thinking Poland? Never mind. Prague, Sounds Prague, like, Poland. With a P. They start with a P. Yeah, yeah. That's this is point. it's always fun to see Americans talk geography because they just don't know a damn thing about you know the rest what it was? of the world. I think it's because Polis is in the last name here. It's Paraleni Polis. P A R A L E L I give you that. P O L I S. Whenever Europeans tell me, "Hey, Americans don't know," I ask them, "Okay, where's South Dakota?" I couldn't even tell you. I've, I've seen some maps where uh, uh, where Europeans will like try to name the the states and they'll just write things and it's really hilarious um, to see that. By the way, the capital anyway, of South Dakota is Pierre. So anyone who will be in in the vicinity definitely should should go and check out the place. It's awesome. Hey, cool man! Thanks for the heads up on that. And again, just Google uh, Crypto Anarchy Institute. And Tomas, thanks for the call. The toll free number tonight eight fifty five four fifty free. I like. 
you know, the idea of creating places for people who have similar mindsets to gather. Uh, of course, that's what we're doing here in New Hampshire. The three of us here in the studio, we joined the Free State Project. Johnny Ray, we didn't know you prior to moving to Keene, New Hampshire, where we happen to live. But people are moving all across New Hampshire and, you know, they're getting active for freedom here because and, and pl- places like what he's describing are being created. There are in uh, the seacoast, in Manchester and in Keene, there are places where liberty activists, many of whom are into the Bitcoin world as well. It's, Bitcoin is very highly accepted among the liberty community here, but there are places where people can go to. In fact, Manchester just had a new one opened up. There's actually two uh, of them in Manchester. There's sort of these clubs that liberty activists can converge and socialize and plan stuff and, you know, do activism and things. In fact, there's a new movers party happening at one of those places tonight as we are speaking. Uh, that new movers party is going on. I believe Seems like there's new movers every week, even in the winter. It does seem. It is. I believe that is the case out in a place like Manchester, a big city like that. So go check out the Free State Project. If you love liberty, you really care about freedom, you want to be with other people who have that mindset. If you love Bitcoin, this is also a great place to be. New Hampshire is like almost like a Bitcoin destination for uh, for the world. We just had the guys from the Bit Movie. They came through here a few days yeah, ago. Yeah, that was exciting. I don't know if we talked about that on the air. Maybe we briefly mentioned it, but uh, the, uh, their website, I don't know if it's online yet, but you can find them on Facebook at The Bit Movie, and they are traveling around the country Going to 40 cities, I think, in 30 days. So big plans. Yeah, Yeah. that's a lot of driving. And they're going to be meeting a lot of the people in the Bitcoin world. If there were something like the Crypto Anarchy Institute in the United States, I imagine they would be stopping by there. And so... True to form, they stopped by Keene and Manchester on their third day of the tour. So they started in Canada, uh, Toronto, Ottawa, I think they hit Montreal, and then they came down into Vermont and came over to New Hampshire to visit the burgeoning Bitcoin scene here. Yeah, we didn't even ask them what they hit in Vermont. Montpelier, I think, is where they went. Okay. I don't know what's in Montpelier, but yeah, there's Bitcoin stuff everywhere. There's a cool website called CoinMap that you can visit, coinmap.org. And then you can see, zoom in on your area of uh, wherever it in the in the world. It's a worldwide map. You zoom in on your area, and it'll actually show you, you know, different businesses who've taken the time to add themselves. There may be more Bitcoin accepting businesses than what you see on Coin Map, but uh, there's a good indicator of Bitcoin acceptance in any given city on Coin Map. Pretty cool stuff. Our toll free number tonight is eight fifty five four fifty free. We've been doing the twenty things that successful people don't do. Number ten. Ian, before you go on to number 10, yes, sir. can we, uh, at number nine, I wanted to say that as- Number nine was they don't make excuses. Yes. As a libertarian anarchist, I often have to stop myself, and I don't always succeed, but I- the, Stop make, yourself from what? From making excuses. For yourself. For myself. Okay. For, for, my, for, the, for, for, for my own lack of success, I might blame- the 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 system the oppressive country that i live in the the federal reserve or something it's it's pretty silly uh successful talented people i think can rise above circumstances and me making excuses is not going to help me break through those right, it's barriers. It's really your, your habit of uh, uh, huffing that uh, cleaning fluid that you use as the liberty <laughs> janitor i mean if you'd stop that you'd be able to get your life together only cuz it smells good no, but that's a good. Uh, that's a good point there, Johnny Ray. That you know, there's always something you can blame. It's easy to do that. It's easy to take the onus of control off of yourself and put it on someone else, whether it's the man or the boss or, you know, your mom and dad. There's always somebody that's it's, it's their fault, right? Yeah, right. I'm not politically connected, so that's that's the reason that I'm not successful. Perry is in Nashua, New Hampshire, where I was on the radio this morning at 6.40 a.m. on the morning show. Perry, you're on Free Talk Live listening to WSMN. Perry in Nashua. Going once. Perry in Nashua. Yes, I'm turning down the radio. Ah, hey, excellent. Yes, I'm going to let you know where South Dakota is. It is <laughs> right below North Dakota. Damn, that's excellent. Perfect uh, thanks for the for lesson, yes, Perry. It is. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> Toll free number here tonight, 855-450-FREE. You can take control of Free Talk Live. Or coming up. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? 
stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Look, kid, when guys like us walk into a facility in the morning, we can smell a problem. No one needs to hand us a work order. We already know it. Today, for instance, we need a new gearbox, six globe valves, and a dozen ballasts. And when I smell a problem, Granger smells that I smell a problem. They help me keep this place up and running. Now, that's the kind of smell I like. The sweet smell of success. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com, or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Stouffer's, helping bring your family together with wholesome dinner options, even on the busiest of nights. Find dinner table ideas to bring your family together at letsfixdinner.com. To get kids involved in dinnertime conversation, ask specific questions, not broad ones. Instead of what happened today at school, try what was the best thing that happened today. The more specific you are, the more they'll have to say. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Tuesday, December 2nd, 2014. Silver is trading at $16.33 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,200 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $384. Antiwar.com reports on Sunday, Kabul Police Chief General Zahir Zahir announced his resignation from the position, a move that came after three weeks of high-profile attacks against the Afghan capital city. However, he's back at his post after it was revealed that the Afghan government ultimately rejected his resignation, despite reports they'd already accepted it. Zahir's spokesman said he was asked to stay on to avoid disruption of security affairs, a surprising move since the security situation is getting worse and worse, and Afghan President Ashraf Ghani has been cleaning house in other posts. The situation in Kabul has gotten so much worse that a lot of aid agencies announced that they are fleeing the country, at least temporarily, to avoid putting their workers at any more risk than they already are. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. USA Today reports the NFL will not grant a request from the St. Louis Police Officers Association to discipline St. Louis Rams players who did the hands-up, don't-shoot pose used by protesters in Ferguson, Missouri during a pregame introduction on Sunday. NFL spokesman Brian McCarthy said, We respect and understand the concerns of all individuals who have expressed views on this tragic situation. The Police Officers Association issued a letter late Sunday condemning the players' actions as tasteless, offensive, and inflammatory, given a grand jury's decision not to indict Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson in the fatal shooting of Michael Brown. Five St. Louis Rams players raised their hands as they walked out of the tunnel onto the field at the Edward Jones Dome before Sunday's game against the Oakland Raiders. Wide receiver Stedman Bailey said he and his teammates decided to make the gesture shortly before the game and intended it to be something positive. Bailey told reporters after the game, violence should stop. There's a 
lot of violence going on here in St. Louis. We definitely hear about it all, and we just want it to stop. Tight end Jared Cook said he didn't consider his teammates' actions a distraction, and wide receiver Kenny Britt took issue with the notion that Rams players were choosing sides in a heated community issue. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs offers premium publicity campaigns designed to facilitate an organization's adoption of Bitcoin as a payment system. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit BitcoinNotBombs.com. Reuters reports lawmakers dealt a blow to President Barack Obama's five-year-long effort to close the prison camp at Guantanamo Bay Naval Base in Cuba by omitting a plan to shut the facility from an annual defense authorization bill. U.S. Senator Carl Levin, chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee, told reporters on Monday that the final version of the massive bill will not allow the president to transfer inmates to the United States. Levin said, our language on Guantanamo will not be in. The defense bill, which has been passed annually for more than half a century is likely to be approved by the House of Representatives and Senate in the coming days and then sent to the White House for Obama to sign. Obama has promised to shut the detainee camp since he entered the White House in early 2009, citing its damage to the U.S. reputation around the world. He has so far been unable to do so, partly because of resistance from Congress. In its version of the National Defense Authorization Act, written earlier this year, the majority Democratic Senate panel included language that would have allowed some transfers to the United States. Advocates for closing the camp say it violates U.S. principles such as not holding prisoners without charge. They say it also acts as a recruiting tool for anti-American militants and it's very expensive to keep open. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. This is the Onion Week in Review. In a landmark 5-4 to four decision issued this Wednesday, the Supreme Court ruled to allow Americans to cram cash directly into politicians' mouths. The ruling, which effectively eradicates former prohibitions against stuffing checks and stacks of $100 bills straight down the throats, ears, and other orifices of presidential and congressional candidates, is expected to fundamentally alter the ways American politicians have large quantities of money shoved right into their bodies. In football music news this week, the 1985 Chicago Bears reunite to record their first new material since the Super Bowl shuffle. The group says the new material will be darker and more introspective than its shuffle era work. And in this week's op-ed pages, a man asks why, if God exists, doesn't he throw us like a really f***ing sweet party? In other news, an increasing number of men feel pressure to accept realistic standards of female beauty. FedEx confirms that more than 600,000 people try to mail themselves each year. And a recovering alcoholic doesn't need friends to have a good time. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. We invite you here to take control toll-free as we launch into the third hour of the program. Plenty of time for you at 855-450 free. We've been giving you some suggestions from the 20 things that successful people refuse to do. Some ideas as to, you know, what you might be able to implement into your own life to have some more success in the future. Who wouldn't want that? Our toll-free number is 855-450 free. And joining you in the studio tonight, Ian, with you. Johnny Ray. And Mark. And we've got Skype. Skype on in at username lrn.fm. We continue with number 10 on this list provided by both HuffingtonPost.com and BrandMentalist.com. That number 10, successful people do not envy other people's success. Successful people believe... Oh, we already did that one, didn't we? That uh, successful people... Uh, yeah, you they, better get your they, list they feel, here, pal. They feel inspired and motivated by the success of others, not envious. I was just going to say, you did 10, and then I dragged you back to 9. You did take us back to 9. Okay. So number 11, they don't ignore those that they love. No matter how much work is important to successful people, it's not as important as the people they love, family, partner, and their own selves. True success starts from within. The love and support from the loved ones are significant and can be tremendously helpful in making someone succeed. And in a lot of cases, that's part of your motivation for why you want to be successful, right? So you can take care of the people that you care about. Well, I think it's important to pick good partners, too, as best you can. I mean, you get the family you get when mm -hmm. uh, the one you're born into. But um, when I was talking about 
having friends that are going to be successful. Um, that I think that that's the most important decisions and, frankly, the easiest ones that you can make. Um, if this really goes doubly or triply, triply uh, for uh, picking a spouse or a significant other. You know, if you're picking them based on how good they look in uh, garments or, mm -hmm. um, you know, how good of a dancer they are, things like that, uh, you know, or maybe the way that your heart go pitter patter or something like that. I'm not saying love's not important. I'm just saying that, you know, y you need to pick the people you're going to spend time with properly. One of the reasons I'm able to do my job is because my wife handles the household. Now, mm. this is what she wanted. She wanted to have a family and she wanted to be a stay at home mom. And that's great because it allows me to not think about meals, it allows me not to think about uh, household chores. When she manages the house, I work for her on the weekends, right? Like she's in charge of the house. I do the things I'm told on the weekends. She works for me in my business. She does the things she's told, uh, you know, there. So, I mean, it's just, it's a There's management fair. issue. Yeah. So I'm able to do better in my life because I'm, there's somebody I can count on to do what they're, uh, you know, say they're going to do. Mm. And that's really what it comes down to is integrity is, in, is important to me. I want somebody who's going to do what they say they're going to do. Let's go to James in Arizona. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, James. Got any tips? Hi, Mr. Edge. Hey, you got any tips on uh, being a success, James? No, I called in to talk about what I want to talk yeah, about. You that's your tagline? It go is ahead. Free Talk Live. Go ahead. If you, hey, I, I'd be happy to talk to you about that after I call in and get to talk about what I called to talk about. Go ahead. Then. It's usually rhetorical. good to stick with one issue. I know that's a little rhetorical trick of yours because you don't want to have a conversation with somebody that actually has a higher IQ than you. You can't, not only can you not bench press your own weight, Ian, you can't bench press my IQ. So why don't you let me talk for one? <laughs> you, what do you think is higher? Ian weighs about 140. You figure out the joke, Minister Edge. Uh, no, there. How progressive, it, how progressive it is of you to be driving a Prius because it's funny, uh, Minister Edge, if you knew, know about the United States of America, this great land you and I both live in, there's more oil deposits in our country, arguably, than there is in the Middle right East. Right now, the U.S. is the number one oil see, exporter. See, but my point is, Martin Minister Edge, you don't see anybody shooting at each other around here, do you, over oil, do you, Minister Edge? No, the United States like has control over this oil. Why do think why? Why do I think that is? Well, Mr. among the reasons is the, the United reason, States has control over this oil. Um, no, there, the reason why they're fighting with guns over there, over oil, Minister Edge, is because of their subculture. That's why. It's the same reason why. Not our what? foreign policy. I know what, Pothead. It's called Islamism <laughs> and the totalitarian <laughs> governments that all— Overpopulate the Middle East. Uh, 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 no, well, the reason why they're many of those fighting... totalitarian governments are supported by the United States and they're kept in power by the United States and they are not able to come to an equilibrium in the area and provide the people with the kind of governance that they want. Yeah, and if the U.S. military is invading a place where there's oil, then it makes sense that the people who live there would want to fight back to protect the place in which they live. Uh, and that might, you know, people would probably do the same thing if the Russians, for instance, were to try to invade some oil fields here in the United States. But go ahead, James. I agree with you on that, uh, Minister. Oh, finally. Ed Freeman. We agree Minister on something. Freeman, if the re Ruskies came over here and tried to take our stuff, yep, they'd be shot at. Wolverines! So it doesn't have anything to do with their religion. It just has to do with their property. That's why they're defending their home. Their home. Oh, he hung up, by the way. I didn't hang him. I got did not sick hang of us. up on him there. The toll-free number is You just eight. can't talk to these guys. 855 450 free. Let's move on with the list of 20 things that successful people refuse to do. Number 12, they don't forget to have fun. Work can be tiring. Successful people know that work without play is meaningless. Work has to be enjoyable. And the way to achieving that is to do what they love and to have work life uh, balance, work life balance, even though it's hard at times. Successful people know that it's important to get enough sleep as well as to take time to relax and play in order to be able to perform at their best. And that's important too because, you know, I I know what it's like. Anybody that owns their own business knows you can pour as many hours into that as you want to and if you never stop to take a breath, never stop to look around and enjoy life a little bit. I mean, you can enjoy your work, no doubt about it, but it's it's good to get away from things for a little bit. Burnout here. is real. Yeah. And if you 
feel it. You got to get, you know, as life goes on, you, you'll get better, I think, at uh, deciding when the burnout is uh, is happening. And you've got to you've got to have a plan for dealing with it. Vacations are a tried and true system for sort of dealing out dealing with burnout. And one thing you've got to be very careful with with today's connected world is working on your vacation because. If you can't really, what it's about is is um, emotionally disconnecting mm. from the work, so that you can come back recharged and ready for things. And if you're just answering all your emails from a different location, yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> you're not on vacation, right? Like you haven't. Well, I mean, Ian, you to some extent, you get to live your vacation every day, right? That's like true. you, I really love what I do. You love to go to a court to house and fight over a traffic ticket with a bunch of bureaucrats, and like to you, to, I think it's some kind of recharging for you. I, I think you get your, <laughs> your your the vacation you need every every week. You've got some petty little thing that you can go fight these people over. Yeah, I mean, even when I was in jail, I was still kind of trying to run things from inside the jail cell. When I was in for uh, civil disobedience, I spent about two months of my life in jail, like 58 days. And there were there were some days, like pretty much every day, I'd call the studio just to, you know, see what was going on. If I needed to try to put out any fires from over the phone, walk somebody through something, you know, step Honestly, by step. we needed you to do that. Uh, that kind of thing. I don't think I would be as needed today. I think that you know, Daryl has come to town since then, and he's sort of taken on some assistant programmer kind of uh, detail here at LRN.fm. Thank and, God somebody is. And he does some of the uh, he does some of the affiliate relations uh, for Free Talk Live, and it's doing a great job with that. So it's more likely that you guys would be all right if I got hit by a bus tomorrow, which I'm that's I'm that's what I'm glad about. It's I not like, like I don't have dreams about that. I like to be able to be replaceable. I like the idea of you know having enough people who can do what I do, so as to not need to be the key man so much anymore. But still, you know, I'm basically on seven days a week. You know, even though I sort of have one day off, like tomorrow I won't be on the show. You won't be on night, the air. But I'll still be doing the archives afterwards, so there's always something to do yeah, in this world. Yeah, that's having your own business. But again, you know, if you don't love what you do, you shouldn't get into that business, right? Like, if you don't have a real drive to be a restaurateur, you should not be a restaurateur. It's a grueling, You know what I heard business. you can make a lot of money doing? We're opening a restaurant. Mm. Well, that is a bad no. way to start a life. No, you're probably going to lose your butt if you open up a restaurant. I mean, even if you know what you're doing, there's a good chance you're going to go out of business. If, if you, you want to make a, a lot of money, be a plumber. <laughs> there's shortage of them. So, but, but there is a difference between making a lot of money and doing what you love, right? Like if right. you can do what you love and make half the amount that you could make, isn't that worth it? Isn't it worth not making that extra money if you're actually doing something you really enjoy? 855 450 free, and that all goes back to, you know, seeking happiness rather than wealth. 855 450 free, you can take control of the airwaves here on Free Talk Live. Add into your experiences to this list. It's Free Talk Live. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today, December 1st, 2014, gold opened at 1195.40. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1239.50, for a half ounce, or 309.88 for a quarter ounce. That's 1239.50, 619.75, and 309.88. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to 
to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. Are you getting squeezed by the economic downturn? Hey, you were doing fine. Then, all of a sudden, you're having a tough time paying your family's credit card bills. Maybe you were downsized or even lost a job, but you still owe ten grand or more in credit card bills. And you just can't afford the minimum payments anymore. We're here to help. We are the Genesis Debt Partners. We know the secrets to negotiate better terms with your creditors. Make a free 10-minute call right now and and learn how we can help you get out of debt. 800-981-7590. If you owe 10 grand or more in credit card debt and you want to learn how you can pay less and get out of debt faster, call right now. 800-981-7590. 800-981-7590. Get out of debt now. 800-981-7590. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You are invited to dial in toll-free to bring up whatever you want at 855-450-FREE. We are sharing with you 20 things that successful people refuse to do. And we'll continue on that list. We've gone through 12 of those 20. The we tonight includes me, Ian. Johnny Ray. And Mark. And don't forget to join us online over at freetalklive.com, where we've got a lot of features. We give them away to you. You can, of course, uh, enjoy it all for free, unlike a lot of those other talk show hosts who charge you for their site. So go and enjoy it, freetalklive.com. It can be difficult when you're a liberty-minded individual to uh, find uh, stories and movies that uh, resonate with you. I'm always watching things and sort of grumbling about uh, the statist and collectivist propaganda that's inside uh, entertainment. Well, recently I listened to some really great audio entertainment. It's called In Freedom's Cause. It's the story of William Wallace, and it includes big name actors. It has its own score. Uh, That's right. For this production, they created their own score. It has uh, actors like Joanne Froggett from Downton Abbey, Skandar Keynes from Chronicles of Narnia, Billy Boyd from Lord of the Rings, uh, James Cosmo from Braveheart. These are big name actors, and this is a big time production. It's amazing. They decided to do this in audio. And it it really, I think it gives them a lot of more latitude because you're talking about theater of the mind this way. This is the story of William Wallace and and uh, and uh, Eric the Bruce, what, what was his name? I can't remember the other character's name. Was it Eric the Bruce? Something. No, not Eric. Something else. I, I can't remember. Robert the no, Bruce. Robert Sorry the Bruce. about that. You're thinking of Eric the Red from Army of Darkness. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking of precisely. I, I just listened to it uh, two days ago. Apparently, I need to uh, listen again to uh, internalize it a bit more. Ow! 
I'll stand by ye. <laughs> You can count on my axe. That's a pretty good uh, Cosmo there. You should have um, hired James Johnny Cosmo. Ray. Yeah. Well, they they had much bigger uh, names than Johnny Ray, the uh, Liberty janitor. But nonetheless, it was uh, it was historically accurate, and that's what I really loved about it. And um, you know, just go check it out. You can go see at infreedomscause.com, and they've got a family four pack there that if you use coupon code FTL, you can save fifty percent half. Price. Now, wait a minute. It wasn't working yesterday, Mark. It's working. I got it fixed. Okay. Confirmed. Yes. Okay. Good yep. to know. Yeah, uh, confirmed. Uh, you know, the uh, I helped person through it and everything. So it's it's taken care of. Yeah. There was a little problem, a little glitch. But go to uh, infreedomscause.com. Use coupon code FTL. Get the family four pack, 50% off, and you'll have four gifts for four people in your life. You might even spread a little bit of the ideas of liberty around this way. Infreedomscause.com. It's great for kids. All right, our toll-free number here tonight is 855-450-FREE. Let's continue. Your calls and thoughts are welcome. Nathan is in Texas via Skype. Uh, hello, Nathan. Hey, guys. Hey. So uh, whatever kind of activism you're doing, I think it's important to uh, observe proper gun safety protocol. And uh, so I wanted to talk about the four basic rules of gun safety sure. and how Star Trek violates all of them. Okay. <laughs> so, all right. So... So the, the, the worst one is pointing is called muzzle sweeping, and this violates the second rule of uh, don't point your gun at anything you're not willing to destroy. And in the episode of DS9 where they go to the old space station, the security guard actually points her gun at the man she's protecting. And when he out loud says, please don't do that, she says, oh, it's okay. It's not loaded. So yeah, not good. That also... That also violates rule number one, which is to assume every gun is loaded. Yeah, even if you've, um, even if you've, especially ones that don't even have trigger guards. Even if you have triple checked the gun, you never point it at anybody. It's you just don't want to get in the habit of ever pointing a gun at somebody if you're not willing to uh, to kill that person. So uh, I totally agree. And Hollywood, of course, is a terrible, uh, terrible gun safety, terrible source for gun safety. And it's, lessons. A, it's a good that you bring up the trigger guard because that's rule number that goes to rule number three or um, excuse me. Yeah. Rule number three, which is don't to uh, not put your finger on the trigger until you've sighted the target and are ready to shoot. And uh, in the episode also from DS9, these are all from DS9. This Deep Space Nine handling. for those that uh, yeah, Star it, Trek series it, that aren't uh, yes, Star Trek fans, it, Deep Space Nine. It has the most gun handling on it, so that's where how I was able to find these examples. Uh, and it's in the episode "Field of Fire." Not only do they violate rule number one again um, by by almost pulling the trigger of a gun and then saying, "Oh, it's okay, it wasn't loaded," which is very bad. <laughs> that's even worse than uh, the first one. And then uh, it's hard to take know, it seriously can... when it looks like a cell phone, though, right? Like the gun looks like a cell phone. No, no, no. These are actual rifles that I'm okay. talking about here. These are the uh, phaser rifles. They... Yeah, but they changed weapon. them to look more like actual rifles. For okay. DS9, at least for uh, at least for the ones I'm looking at, uh, you can actually see at the last scene of Field of Fire, both uh, the detective and the assassin both have their fingers on the triggers of their respective rifles, and you know, just holding them, that's not good. And there's even a trigger guard, which you know, <laughs> makes it very bad. And yeah, uh, one of the most you know, common things you'll see in Hollywood is uh, Hollywood productions is keeping a finger inside the trigger guard, which is a terrible idea. Um, you know, if your finger spasms real quick or something like that, if anything, if any sort of thing happens, then it's very easy to, to touch that trigger and, and set that gun off. A lot of dead people in the world from uh, that nonsense. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, go ahead. Now, and the fourth rule and the fourth and final rule, which uh, I was surprised I actually managed to find an example of this rule being broken. It's to uh, not fire until you've, or sure what is both in front of and behind your target. Now, normally uh, you uh, you would think that this would be kind of hard to find, but there's actually an episode, again, returning to the old space station that, that they're on again, where a guy shoots someone and there are five people standing behind him and the last <laughs> person gets hit. Mm. This is now, uh, one that I've, I find very disturbing when it comes to law enforcement officers and you'll find stories of uh, shots fired and, uh, you know, the Michael Brown incident where you're talking about a street um, and the, the cops shot, shoot six times um, and... You know, look, look, that I, there's things behind that guy, too. Yeah, or that, uh, I guess, in the New York example, the one where the, they sprayed a crowd with uh, bullets and um, just to get one guy, I think. Yeah, they shot several um, civilians in New York City. 
Nathan, can you go through the, the, the list of four things uh, just in a straight row without the examples now, just so we can recap them? Okay, so rule number one, um, assume every gun is loaded. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, I don't have my notes in front of me, yep. so I'm recalling these from memory. Uh, rule number two, don't point your gun at anything you're not willing to destroy. Mm -hmm. That's destroy with a D. Um, don't put your finger on the trigger until your target is sighted and you're ready to fire. And rule number four, be aware of both what is in front of and behind your target. Good ideas. Thank you, Nathan, for your call tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Ian, I'm very sorry to have to say that Eric the Red was a Viking explorer. Yes. Supposedly oh, yeah. discovered uh, Greenland. Okay. Uh, Maybe he's the one that named it so that he could get people to go there. This yeah, is like the, right. It, it was the world's uh, first and best marketing uh, you know, thing. Mm. Let's call it Greenland. It's covered in a glacier. <clears throat> um, Duke Henry the Red is the Duke of Shale, Lord of the Northlands, and leader of its papals. And that is the character from Army of Darkness that I okay. was referring uh -huh. to. Ah, thank you for the uh, the clarification there. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. Uh, did I hear they're remaking Evil Dead? That they're going to reboot that one? Well, they already remade Evil Dead. Did they? Yes, they. Is Evil Dead two? You mean? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, they 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 released a film. I don't know two summers ago called Evil Dead. Oh no, kidding. Yeah, it was a more serious take on uh, on the the oof the the whatever it was but i haven't seen it so. ah okay so yeah that's how behind the times i am i guess on uh, the hollywood movies releasing <laughs> heard it two years ago and i guess they already beat me to it toll free numbers 855 450 free more things that you can do to be more of a success coming up here in moments and this is free talk live The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. Now is the time to secure ancient defense for you and your family. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. That's ancientdefense.com. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc. As in Creative Commons. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters? and sellers too Mark Warden is the guy for you PorcupineRealEstate.com Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com on Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. 
from wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. We invite you here to take control of the airwaves. Dial on in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three. We'll continue on with a list of twenty things that successful people refuse to do. We got up through uh, number thirteen or two number thirteen. Uh, we'll continue with that list here. Of course, you're welcome to call in, add your thoughts to the mix, your experiences. Is this list uh, accurate? Have you, you know, can you give us some examples of how this has helped you? These sort of ideas. These are not new ideas. Been around forever. Uh, number thirteen on the list here. They don't. Uh, they don't overlook their health. Truly successful people know that good health brings a clear head, a motivated mind, and a fully charged body, which are critical in producing great work. Everything in life starts with good health. And, and what ev- success? What 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 is success if you don't get to live through it? No doubt. And everything else ends when health collides. Number fourteen. They don't set vague life goals. Successful people know exactly what they want in life. They know what their dreams are, and they're determined to achieve them. When you're clear with what you want in life, coming up with plans and a roadmap to achieving that is easy. All you need to do is follow through, never give up, and never get distracted. By having a clear life goal, you're able to evaluate where you are in life and how far you are from your goal. In short, by having a goal and a dream, you're halfway there. Now, it's not always easy to uh, you know, to get to this point, especially if you've got naysayers around you. Now, we t- touched earlier on not being around negative people, but sometimes you're around people who are generally positive, but they might down you on something, right? Like they might think, like I said earlier, somebody told me that I shouldn't go into radio because all I'm going to do is you know, clean the station van if I become an intern or something like that. And there were times when I cleaned the station van, but that's okay. you got to make your bones. you know, you got to pay your dues in a lot of different businesses. And that didn't bother me uh, at all. But, you know, if you've got people telling you, people who you trust, people who you have good rapport with and who who love you and care about you, if those people are telling you, you know, you shouldn't quit your job, you know, it's risky, I know you want to start your own business, but... You've got to you got to stick with your job. I mean, you don't want to quit your day job. There's money coming in from that, and it's risky to start your own business. So, like for instance, well, yeah, but uh, <laughs> you don't. I I I found people um, will often quit jobs before they have the next thing in line. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you really need to you know you need to be clear that uh, the right time to do that job quitting. Sure. I, what I was talking about would be like somebody looking to make a big change in their life and not necessarily moving from one job to another, Mark, but moving from like a job into an entrepreneurial aspect where, you know, you're starting your own business, where you can't guarantee that the paycheck is going to be a certain amount sure. or that there's even right. going to be a paycheck after, you know, six weeks or whatever. Uh, there was uh, the local thrift store that we talked about on the air the other night on Action on Monday Night with Derek J that was opened by activists. Uh, was started by James Robin Hood Cleveland. He's a major, you know, liberty activist up in the area here, and he was an accountant by trade. And when he started getting this business rolling, you know, just before kind of opening the doors on this shop, uh, I had talked to him and suggested, hey, you know, have you been thinking about leaving your job? And he just said, yeah, he had been thinking about that. And I, I encouraged him to do it. You know, I, I encouraged him to make the plunge, and I think he would have done it anyway. But I know that when you're in that position and you're getting ready to make a big leap like that, and there's a leap of sort of faith involved in that. that there's due diligence, too. Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, you want to 
you want to make sure you've got your uh, you know things set up the, that everything is, you've got your bases covered as much as possible. Hopefully, have some money and savings just in case things don't go exactly as you had planned. Just in case they will not go exactly as you planned. Sure, and uh, but you know all that said, if you're spending 50 hours at a job that you, that could be benefiting you uh, at your business, then at some point it, you got to cut that cord. Yep. And a lot of people will t- will tell you to take the safe road. So if you're going in that entrepreneurial direction and you've got surrounding you a bunch of people that have jobs and they don't know what it's like to be an entrepreneur, they don't know the risks that are involved or they are aware of some of them. They don't have that value them. either in many cases. The people that uh, are you know, working at jobs oftentimes don't have the value for striking out on your own. It's like they've got other things they want to do. I mean, maybe right. they're interested in dirt biking on the weekend or whatever it is. A job is something that they do for 40 hours out of the week. That's right. If you want to own your own business, you're pr- be prepared to do this 24 hours a day. You'll you'll dream about what you do. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. In this one, it says here, you know, don't give up, don't get distracted, focus on your goal, follow through. And if you know that's what you want, don't let somebody talk you out of it. Now, it's not to say that there couldn't be a good reason to hesitate and to give it a few more weeks or to save up a little bit, a little while longer. There's a right time to do things. But I would, you know, if you've got some savings, I would err on the side of going for it. In my opinion. Let's go on here. Number 15, they don't just talk the talk, they walk the walk. Successful people don't just talk, whether it's about ideas or criticizing others. They make sure things get done, and what they said they will do will happen. They execute, they implement, and they are reliable and trustworthy. Certainly true that if you're not reliable or trustworthy, you're never really going to get anywhere because if somebody can't count on you to do what you've said you're going to do, they're never going to recommend you to anybody else. And usually in the business world, uh, recommendations go a long way to getting you more business. It's true. Number 16, they don't let themselves become victims. Successful people don't let themselves become victims of other people's actions. They're smart enough to get away from bad people and bad situations, and they don't hold grudges and they don't look to take revenge. Now, there's a difference, remember, that between holding a grudge and uh, and forgiving somebody and not working with that person in the future, right? Like you can you can hold a grudge and and stay in a place of anger towards somebody, or you can forgive that person, move on, but just make a mental note: Hey, don't loan Harry any money in in the future. You know? Yeah, hate destroys the uh, the hater. So that's what a grudge is. Yep, exactly. Number seventeen, they don't get stuck in the past. Oh, wait, a little bit more on number 16. Don't don't let themselves become victims. Uh, so they don't hold grudges, don't look to take revenge. They know that their only way for them to be happy is to let go and move on so they can get better things or let better things in life come in. 17, they don't get stuck in the past. Successful people don't let themselves get weighed down by their past. If you live in your past, you're never going to be happy in the present, especially if you have a painful past. Be mindful and live in the moment. This one's a big one. Oh, yeah, this is a really big deal. Um, I spent eight, eight and a half years of my life in prison. Mm. You can choose. For, I, I could very easily have chosen for myself an entirely different life that was full of blame and regret and all kinds of things because of my past, but I chose not to deal with, the, not to have that. I didn't. I don't want that. And I, there's a lot of people who I shared uh, prison cells with, and you know, dorm dorm rooms with, and and all those sorts of things, who have been successful in their lives. They've they've turned it around. Hmm. A lot of them work for themselves, mind you. <laughs> not all of them, but a lot of them did. And that's. It, you get to pick every day. You get to pick. You get to choose. Is it going to be a good day or a bad day? Look to your dog. Your dog can teach you how to live in the moment. Caesar Milan taught mm. me a long time ago that dogs. Is that the dog whisperer? Yes. Okay. The dogs... Did you know him? No, I read his book. You read the book. Okay. <laughs> well, good. <laughs> that uh, that's just as good. That nobody knows better really than a dog how to live in the moment. What? Well, okay. What do you mean by that though? Well, a dog really doesn't have a any conception of the future or the past yeah but doesn't that just mean you're being stupid johnny ray that you're just ignoring uh you know the things that have gotten you where you are and these are important things aren't they yes i'm i wouldn't have you adopt every way of the dog okay but right, just you'd be this a dog. particular thing right <laughs> but i think it's you know there's there's value to being present in the moment Sure. And and even if you have been uh you've had a bad past, I mean everybody's had negative uh aspects 
in their past. If we didn't have bad things happen, then we wouldn't as uh, be as appreciative, I don't think, of the good times in life. Whether or not you brought those things upon yourself, as it certainly could be argued, Mark, that uh, that you did in, oh, yeah. in your life, or you know, if you were abused by a parent or somebody, you know, as you're growing up, and obviously some things are out of your immediate control and, and can be you know fairly horrifying. Uh, but leaving all that behind and not letting it affect who you are today, because you can you can be a you can lay in bed and be depressed all day every single day about what has happened to you, or you can embrace your current life and try your best to overcome and maybe use those experiences to to help others. You know, if you've been abused, maybe you could counsel other people who've been abused. I, um, so so I, there are ways to sort of honor the past, I guess, at the same time. I, I lay in bed and get depressed about laying in bed. I totally agree with you. I can't stay in bed too long. For me, it's eating too much. The toll-free number here, 855-450-FREE. We've got three more on the list. We'll get to those coming up with your calls and thoughts. Welcome on Free Talk Live. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. For all of you who are inspired to create your own unique holiday cards and gifts. For all of you, there's Vistaprint.com. At Vistaprint.com, creating personalized holiday cards is simple. Choose from hundreds of designs and add your own photos and special messages. And there's 60% off. Plus, personalized one-of-a-kind gifts are also to 60% off. It's our best deal of the season. But hurry, offer ends December 7th. The only way to get this incredible deal is to go to Vistaprint.com, click the microphone in the upper right corner, and enter code RADIO60. Vistaprint.com, code RADIO, the word 60. It's that time of year again, and you know what that means. Cold and flu season. <coughs> but don't worry. HerbalHealer.com has you and your loved ones covered with our safe and natural products. Cold and flu fighters like beta-glucans, olive leaf antiviral capsules, grapefruit seed extract, HHA 4-herb capsules, elderberry power, and respirate. And don't forget about oregacillin for the lungs, normally $34.95, on sale now for only $25. Vitamin D3 120-count soft gels, only $9. Whole body and homeopathic detoxes for the lungs, kidneys, liver, lymph, and brain, normally $26.95, now just $20. HerbalHealer.com also offers correspondence courses to teach you how to handle your health naturally. And as always, new customers get a free 128-page catalog with your order. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click the Winter Specials button to save on our natural cold and flu-fighting products. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist, libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. 
Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Moments remain, but there's enough time for your call and thoughts. You've uh, heard, uh, if you've been listening for the whole show, you've heard the 20 things. We've gone through 17 of the 20. Uh, 20 things that successful people refuse to do. And I have to say, the list is pretty darn accurate. It's pretty spot on. There's a lot of good stuff in here. I can't say I've really disagreed with anything that I've heard on the list. Gentlemen, uh, what's your assessment uh, thus far? By the way, it's Ian with you tonight. Johnny Ray. And Mark. Assessment. I Sometimes it seems to repeat itself. They um, tend to. Yeah, uh, that's true. Maybe uh, in order to fill up the the, the twenty, but S- uh, successful people do the same things over and over again <laughs> in order to achieve success. Successful people make lists based on the ten, the base ten numbering system. <laughs> Mark your thoughts. Thirteen weird tricks you can do to achieve a success in your life. Did you like it? I mean, you think what do you think of the list so far? Good list. Uh, success coaches hate him. <laughs> the guy who wrote this, you mean? That's right. Number 18, they don't resist change. These are things that successful people do not do. They do not resist change, plans, strategies, and tactics. All of these can change over time. Successful people accept them without frustration and resistance. They adjust and adapt because they believe there is no fixed route to success. Yeah, there's the some book from, I, I don't know, it might be the 90s at this point. Who uh, Moved My Cheese? Yeah, Who Moved My Cheese? And it really puts this in perspective as... You know, nothing stays the same. The, the universe doesn't owe you that, that's no. for sure. And it's always going to change, so you need to be prepared to change with it. You can choose. Here, the option is liking or not liking the change. Yes. <laughs> you don't get to pick whether or not the change occurs. You don't, You can pick whether or not you do it. You can pick whether or not you like it, but you don't get to pick whether or not the world is going to change around you. And it's going to change really quickly. When I worked at a grocery store in in Asheville, they they changed the store. They changed the layout of the store just for the sake of change. They changed it just to change it so that people, uh, well, I don't know why. I theorized that they changed it so that people would have to find things, and in the course of having to find things, maybe they, they might find see some things. other things. Yeah, That's a possibility, and there's a lot of research that goes into that kind of thing, um, plus they also can change how they uh, you know having been involved in retail uh, myself over the years they, uh, they you know they change their layouts because they, they come up with better designs you know there's there's always people who are working on that they have professionals whose job it is to design layouts that work better to attract eyes to certain locations and you know you want people to see the sales so you know you put that in a certain way and you know there there is a there, I don't know if you want to call it a science but you know probably could call it a science it's probably a science to how to place product on a shelf as one example and, yeah and 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 the the relationships and the agreements that product providers have with those stores is those complex too. based on because they want their products in cer- in those certain places. That's correct. And they'll do things well, in order to get them. To, to some extent, you're talking about interior design, too. And um, this is the real value of interior designers is, um, you know, these people do not get the credit that they deserve. Mm. If you think about the grocery stores, maybe not when you were a kid. I, I don't know, Ian, maybe, maybe it was like this. But when I went to grocery stores, they were essentially big, large, open rooms with metal shelves upon which the stuff that you got was, you know, there and labeled with the little stickers and stuff like that. And there wasn't much as far as uh, as far as design uh, mentality went. Well, now when you go to grocery stores, these things are inviting places mm-hmm. and the lighting is, uh, you know, important. The the faux wood or the real wood or the way the, the, the cases are set up, the kinds of cases. 
it's just there's a tree in the middle of one of the grocery stores here in little tiny Keene, New Hampshire. Yeah. I can only imagine what it's, it's not like. real though, right? It's, it's fake a fake tree. tree. Yeah. But I'm sure that somebody put that. I kind of like the fake tree. Mm-hmm. Um, do I shop at the store because of the fake tree? It's in the I, produce section. I don't right? think so. so. Like, well, you know, where else would you yeah. put a fake tree? Um, and, and it's a tree. It's, it's a big, th- big thing. Yeah, it's for the atmosphere. Whatever it is, and these you know grocery stores have really changed because of that, and that's the that's the interior designers there, the architects. Uh, these people really are making our lives better in ways that we de- we can't see. Yeah, absolutely. So I I love this one. Change is inevitable. You can't stop it. Uh, it's something that p- people need to accept and embrace and roll with as much as possible. Uh, and if you can lead the change. You know, if you've got some sort of You might idea. as well get in front of the parade because the parade's going. Yeah. Number 19, they don't ever stop learning. That is successful people. Don't ever stop learning. Number 19 here, no matter how old they get, successful people are always learning because they believe that no one knows everything. Inspiration can arise anywhere, anytime from anyone. Therefore, don't act like a glass full of water. Instead, act like a glass half full so that you can always have room to learn something new. I stopped actively learning probably about 12 years ago. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I try to learn new things, um, but not with any real discipline. I start things all the time and, and never really? finish them. Oh, you must have well, learned some cleaning techniques over the years, right? Like yeah, but you that— You do janitor work. I, I, that was learned by osmosis. But even if you learn some things when you start, that doesn't mean that, you know, I mean, you just haven't found something that's that interesting to carry through with. I mean, I'm not saying that uh, the personality trait of not finishing things is good, but to some extent, you really got to want to finish whatever it is that you start. The starting in and of itself is valuable. Well, now, but- I don't even start when it comes to computer stuff. I say, no. I refuse to learn you say, this. Ian. Right. I say <laughs> I I mean help me. My mind puts on the you know the the jackass in my brain puts yeah. on the brakes. It sits down, shoves its feet forward and says, "No, I will not learn this new <laughs> computer thing." And I have I don't start it. I don't try. There's just a there's a big no in my mind when it comes to computers. Johnny Ray, I don't believe what you're saying. I mean, you know, just because you're not sitting down to study some kind of book, I mean, I don't do that stuff. But I've definitely picked up a few things here and there just by seeking my interests. You are an accomplished uh, actor, a stage actor, and uh, I imagine most of that's been done in your adult lifetime since you've been out of the military. Not just an actor, but you're producing your own play right now. That's right. That's I, the right will be, I will be directing a play next year. First I'm time, not right? producing it. Is it your first one that you've ever jack directed? for that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, you're learning something. Hold, hold on. Now, it's the first time you've ever directed a play, correct? Yes, sir. That, you, that's got to be a learning process. I mean, you must have learned and to some extent, having been in enough plays, observing enough directors and how they do things, to be able to emulate that to some extent, or at least be willing to give it a try. I appreciate that, Ian. I will take that. I, But it's a fact that I have started a lot of things. I bought a violin. I played it for a, for a couple of months, and I haven't picked it up in months. I started Why would you I feel guilty about German that? Wait, 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 wait. Why would you feel guilty about that? Maybe it wasn't right for you. You know, you tried it, and you decided, nah, it's not for me. I'd rather play XCOM. Well, I mean, yeah. you know, you took a <laughs> instead of spending your money on something that you knew you would like, like I don't know, ice cream or uh, video games or whatever it is, you uh-huh. decided to try something new, and you you tried it out, and it did it gave you what it gave you. I mean, in and of itself, the starting of that it has has value to it. Sure, it's great. I mean, we you love, learned you don't like to play violin. Yeah, we love a, a success story where people stick to it. We love that story of the uh, the kid that's at six years old said, "I want to be a pilot," and then you know that uh, succeeded in doing that. Yeah. That's uh, that's storytelling, though. There's nothing wrong with trying something out because when you say i don't finish things all that says to me is well i better stop starting new things because i'm bad at finishing them no (laughs) that sounds like a terrible idea i mean limit how much you put in but i don't imagine you paid thousands for the violin would you pay i i bought it for about well, I don't remember, but it was under two hundred dollars. Okay, think. I mean, you know, uh, and you got a few uses out of it. Take it know. to the pawn shop; you'll probably get hundred bucks get 100 out, of out of it. Yeah, I well, I just that. bought one of the reasons that I have that I put it down is because I don't want to offend people who are near me, and. Hmm. The reason I've mentioned it is because the violin is fresh on my mind because I just got a delivery from Amazon the other day that has a mute in it, 
which sort of clamps down on the vibration of your violin so really? you can play it. So you're intending to get back into it. Right. You but, just don't but, want to be heard practicing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, man. I wouldn't think that uh, negatively of you. We, we live right next door to one another. Number 20, they don't end their days without feeling thankful. This is a good one. No matter how big or no, no matter big or small, successful people feel thankful for things in their lives and in their everyday lives. They show appreciation for those who've helped them. They thank people who support them and stand beside them. Don't just do it one day a year. Thanksgiving, not good enough. Uh, every day is more important. That's they, why I like Thanksgiving. Well, it gives you that reminder. Yeah. Gratitude is so important. They feel thankful for what they have in their lives rather than looking at what they don't have. And successful people simply feel blessed and thankful for being alive and waking up to the people they love to do the things they love. And that's the secret to starting their days with positive energy and a peace of mind. So, yeah, being in that position of gratitude definitely makes you somebody who's you know better to be around as well. You know, if you're thinking about negativity and all the things that you hate in life, you're probably not going to come off as a real positive person. But if you think about all the things that you appreciate and that are great to have and that you're glad for in your life, or think about the people. Who, think about who you like hanging out with and what are the personality traits of that person. Out of time for tonight. But we did get through the list. I'm really happy about that. Good job. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow night online. In the meantime, you can join us at freetalklive.com. This program brought to you by Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Free talk. A hot new murder craze sweeps Chicago. Things that shouldn't be said in modern society are said 1,400 times at the RNC, and a brave woman enters a restaurant without first looking it up online. This is the Onion Week in Review. The World Wildlife Fund quickly backtracked Thursday from a recently released press statement saying panda ears are, quote, absolutely delicious. Organization officials noted that while panda ears do taste amazing, braised, steamed, fried, or cooked in an omelet, they should not have announced it publicly, nor should they have ever eaten any part of a cheetah, giraffe, or Bengal tiger, no matter how good they may be. According to company sources, the Netflix board of directors held a tense series of meetings earlier this morning to decide whether the fantasy comedy Michael is streamworthy. The board reportedly sat through its mandatory two back-to-back -back screenings of the 1996 film starring John Travolta as an angel visiting Earth, all while passionately arguing over the film's story, acting, and level of enjoyment upon subsequent viewings to determine if the movie should be available through its instant viewing program. This is the Onion News Network. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Peace News Now is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Tuesday, December 2nd, 2014. Silver is trading at $16.33 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,200 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $384. Antiwar.com reports on Sunday, Kabul Police Chief General Zahir Zahir announced his resignation from the position, a move that came after three weeks of high-profile attacks against the Afghan capital city. However, he's back at his post after it was revealed that the Afghan government ultimately rejected his resignation despite reports they'd already accepted it. 
Zahir's spokesman said he was asked to stay on to avoid disruption of security affairs, a surprising move since the security situation is getting worse and worse, and Afghan President Ashraf Ghani has been cleaning house in other posts. The situation in Kabul has gotten so much worse that a lot of aid agencies announced that they are fleeing the country, at least temporarily, to avoid putting their workers at any more risk than they already are. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. USA Today reports the NFL will not grant a request from the St. Louis Police Officers Association to discipline St. Louis Rams players who did the hands up, don't shoot pose used by protesters in Ferguson, Missouri during a pregame introduction on Sunday. NFL spokesman Brian McCarthy said, we respect and understand the concerns of all individuals who have expressed views on this tragic situation. The Police Officers Association issued a letter late Sunday condemning the players' actions as tasteless, offensive, and inflammatory, given a grand jury's decision not to indict Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson in the fatal shooting of Michael Brown. Five St. Louis Rams players raised their hands as they walked out of the tunnel onto the field at the Edward Jones